on the line with us. He's going to be at the Dr. Phillips. Uh, That's Fancy Town. Disney Theater. Yes. Um, which uh, is an unbelievable venue. They won't even let comedy. us in the Disney Theater. They, <laughs> they, nice. they made us stay in the Pew Theater, which is the tinier one. <laughs> He's got uh, two shows uh, tonight, one at 7, one at 9.30. Uh, Ryan Hamilton's on the line. How you doing, Ryan? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. You know, the, the last time we talked to you, uh, actually, no, two times ago we talked to you, you signed our bathroom in my home, <laughs> and you signed on the wall right oh. near, yeah, you, I was going to see if you remembered it, and you signed the wall, and you said, and it says, and I still see it every day when I go in there, <laughs> it says, this is my first time signing a toilet. <laughs> that's, that, and that's what you wrote. And I knew uh, you were. I knew you were calling in today. And thanks again for the time. But I had to follow up and make. I just wanted to see: Are we still the only toilet that you have signed, or now that you are big time? I mean, you're at the Dr. Phillips. That's the. I mean, that. I don't. Do you Netflix know Netflix special? Do you? Yeah, Netflix special. I mean, like you are mega famous. How many toilets have you signed now? Well, I I've. Only signed the one. Oh, but I, wow. I gotta say, I think I think it's backwards. I think if I were on the downslide, then I would have signed more toilets okay. rather oh, than on the oh, oh, yes. yeah, yeah, right. yes. We started from the toilet. Well, and now, now we're right here. here. <laughs> right. That's Drake. That's Drake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like silent signing toilets isn't a big shot deal. It seems like a thing that you do when you're um, when you're someplace you shouldn't be, or you know, yeah. something like that. Like we were just uh, you're killing time in between uh, murders or something. <laughs> yeah, something terrible that you're doing, something nefarious. Ryan, I, I I gotta ask you a question. When uh, when your Netflix special uh, premieres, I'm curious to what the response is that you see immediately, or like how fast. People like, you know, because I imagine once it uh, drops, like so many people like are exposed to it that I'm curious to see what the result is yeah. uh, to you personally. Well, it's interesting, like the, uh, the life of something on Netflix, it just kind of it actually takes a while and it, and it kind of builds over time. So it's not like a once like once it drops, there is a big spike in the beginning, but then you know, it kind of levels off for a while, and then you just kind of sit back and see, and it's like this experiment. And then over time, um, you know, people talk about it. They move. They say you got to check this out, and it kind of just sticks around and has a life of its own. So people are still discovering it now. Um, you know, I'm not like a household name or anything. So people who are coming into Netflix, going, "Oh, I want to find comedy and see what's going on," they they might stumble onto me still. So. Um, I mean, it's definitely changed things for me, for sure, to have that size of platform. But um, it wasn't like it all at once. It's just it's kind of strange. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense because you're right. I guess people they you know they watch a special, then recommend it to friends, and then hey, because it's good, I watched it. It's great. Um, then that like perpetuates the marketing of it, and then social media does the rest. And I guess that makes sense. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I I would imagine there would be like an initial burst, but I guess it's like over the long haul. Like, I mean, do do they even give you an idea about yeah, how many I people would, watched that's it? That's what like, I was going to ask because they're so secretive about numbers. Yeah. I was wondering, like, how do you ca- ca- kind of wrap your brain around that? <laughs> yeah, I um, I just um, I just. I just keep mine on repeat play and <laughs> hope that's done, you know. Well, I mean, they like, give wh- us zero idea, like zero a uh, clue. So uh, the only reason, the only way we kind of gauge things is ticket sales. If you show up to and you go, "Oh, tickets sold really fast," you're like, "I guess it's, I guess it's working." I don't know. I guess people are watching it. Well, yeah. see, you have like, no idea. I did the math of like, well, wow, he's at the best venue in our city. No, seriously, this is what <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, wow, he's at the best venue in our city. Like the venue that, like, that, literally, we have to tell. Apparently, we have spent a billion dollars on the <laughs> Dr. Phillips because it's got like now a stage that is like it floats, and that if you are playing a violin, that the, the Martians can hear it. <laughs> yeah. sp- like, it, I don't know if you've heard about this. Wow. Yeah, it's in- I'm glad I brought my violin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Don't. Don't, don't go I there. rarely need it. I rarely need it. Well, you're going to need it here. You're you're definitely, it's not going to get dusty. But, like, when I saw that, I was like, he's at Dr. Phillips. He's killing it. That's what I thought. Oh, well, thanks. I mean, 
it's all over the place for me. It's like I, I, I love that we are able to do theaters, and it's just a dream come true for me to to go into a city and and do that. And and I'm so grateful for the crowds when you know my my crowd is a theater crowd. You know, I can't get people to the late show at the comedy club. <laughs> They're like, what? No, we're not staying out that late. <laughs> we, we have uh, babysitters. We're responsible people. We have we have plans for the, the morning. So um, I will say, you know, how does it feel to you to know that we polled most of our intelligent friends, and most of our intelligent friends are big fans of yours. <laughs> most of, oh. most of my well. dumb friends don't know who you are, but my smart friends, you're they love you. Um, you know, I'm happy for anybody who wants to come and see me and uh, I bet my audience is quite a bit smarter than I am so <laughs> maybe I've, did you, uh, I'll, did you, I'll take I'll take whatever it is during the, the the heart of sort of the pandemic and I mean I don't even know where that that is or isn't right now considering they're saying you know it's coming again here it comes but like did you do any of these um, larger or outdoor style you know like distanced uh, shows where you're like on a stage and then you know, a football field in front of you in a baseball uh, diamond, there are like a thousand people or like space six. <laughs> oh, yeah, pods and yeah. tables did and you cars. Do, did you do any of that? I did not. I, I was back home in Idaho for nearly all of it, and um, there wasn't a lot of comedy going on. And I just, I did some online stuff, a few things here and there, but um, I didn't. I didn't do much of that at all. I don't think I did any of those outdoor shows. I've done outdoor shows before, but not forced by a pandemic. Yeah, they're so, hard. Uh, they're, outdoor shows are extremely did, difficult. Did you just spend yeah. the time writing? Did you get into any other, uh, you know, businesses? I know a lot of comedians we talked to like started the online businesses yeah. and started different, you know, things. And they yeah. started writing books. Some and, people like Little Esther's you know. uh, selling pajamas. You got, yeah, 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 yeah. there's yeah. people that have, you really? know, yeah, she's got her own line of sleepwear. You've got like <laughs> people that like started branching out in all these different uh, areas, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, people are doing all sorts of stuff. I feel so, um, those are ambitious people. And I, uh, I guess I just don't have that gene. I don't know. I, I, Went back to Idaho with, like, um, not knowing in March of 2020 that I was going to be taking this one carry-on for, like, nine months to a year or whatever it was. Oh, my God. And and I just um, kind of got, you know, you just revert back to who you, you're, like, self when you go home, like, who you were. And I bought a 1994 Toyota 4Runner 4x4 is like the coolest car that I would have wanted in high school. <laughs> is that the one that's kind of bubbly, right? I think I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. They're cool. It's like a, it was a standard four-wheel drive. They're, they, they've got a real low gear ratio, and, and you can go anywhere in it. And I just, like, went up in the mountains, drove around, and did a lot of fishing and hiking and just kind of was like, I did a bunch of that stuff. That's awesome. You know, I'm from a very rural place, and so I just kind of went places that I remembered, places I hadn't been since I was a kid. I did a lot of that. Um, did a lot of cross-country skiing in the winter, just out in the potato fields, just like <laughs> lone man skiing around. Wait, you were skiing yeah. the potato <laughs> fields? My God, man. Right. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. If, if someone showed a picture of you in a suit and then said, guess what this guy did during COVID, and then listened to uh, uh, A skiing through the C, potato field. You know, uh, buying a 1991 4x4 four four and going mudding yeah. uh, probably would be the last uh, option. Well, pick. it had the lowest gear ratio he wanted, and he needed to get Yeah. I don't know. It was just like, I didn't plan it. It just kind of happened. I tried to write some stuff, and I was trying to write, but it, I just found it very difficult to write stand-up going, I'm going to try this out in six months. It just feels like right. stand-up doesn't work like that. Like, you kind of need... So I tried to write some other stuff. I wrote a couple short stories I never did anything with, but... Um, you know, mostly I I was just doing that stuff, and and I was with my family a lot. And that was that was nice, and Ryan, yeah. What? But I I did not uh, start a uh, like any sort of empire of any sort. 
<laughs> well, and, right. and a lot of podcasters, right? You had a lot of comedians that went yeah. to the podcast, mm-hmm. and then you had a lot of comedians yeah. that, yeah. you virtual know, shows. would do virtual shows. And I think really podcast was the one of the only, if not the only, way for a lot of these guys to still get their their voice or at least promotion out during that time. But I don't know. After listening to what you said, I I think I'd actually choose skiing a little bit. That <laughs> sounds quite nice. Well, Ryan, I'm I'm curious because I bet there's a lot of people that think like this, and I often fantasize about like the summer of 2020 when everything was just stopped yeah and because i wasn't going to become a fitness man (laughs) that's when i decided uh, fitness was my true calling yeah like because uh no i I imagine that you're crazy busy and so many people are busy that uh you like i think back at that time and it gives me like it makes me feel relaxed because of how there was just nothing going on like it was just everything stopped so it seemed like it was some sort of like relief to me that like I didn't have a bunch of things yeah, that I needed to do. It was just for like sure. there was nothing. Yeah. And so, do you ever look back? Like I'm, I imagine you're crazy. reminisce on the days yeah, when you had no obligations. In the <laughs> days in the potato field <laughs> no, when there was the, nothing to the do. The forerunner days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever like think back about those days and uh, fondly? It was very, it was very strange. I mean, in some ways, yeah, I guess. But I'm so glad to be back in my life i like my life so much i i oh, wanted to be back you know and um if you could I see did, the look I, of confusion we have on our faces <laughs> right now when you said you love your life and then all three of us literally looked at each There's other like, like we don't oh, know what to blinking lo- say that i don't know it's what to say it's loving your life <laughs> yeah. that's the key to happiness Weird. Uh, just a quick correction well, because hard. they are watching us. Uh, Dr. Phillips is watching our live Twitch feed. Yeah, yeah. It is not the Disney Theater tonight. It is it oh. is the Alexis and Jim Pugh Theater tonight? Sorry, oh, sorry. the one oh, we okay. were in. I, I didn't know. I no, don't know good. which where fine. I'm at, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, jump in without. Um, having all yeah, the that was our mistake. Oh, no, we, yeah, yeah, we make yeah. a lot so of mistakes. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, one of our, one no, of our no. biggest mistakes is not enjoying our lives, and then this, yeah. the, one of their second biggest mistakes we had is that yeah, we got the theater misinformation. Yeah. yeah, well, they're all beautiful theaters, and if you go, I yeah, mean, you, you get a ticket there, you you know they'll tell you where to go. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> they're like, it's what this way. <laughs> Here is a Doctor Phillips guarantee: if you show up and your ticket says Ryan Hamilton on it, they will tell you which theater it's <laughs> in, and I stake my life on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was when when you said I was in a floating <laughs> stage. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm not, but I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 they have he a was, floating. Yes, stage. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, they have yeah. a floating stage. They have a stage. I swear to God, they have a stage that literally anybody can play anything on it, and it makes anybody sound amazing. It's that good. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um. Uh, so did you go back? Whatever the- show they see is going to be great there. I'm sure there's a good show at every theater. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah. Let's yeah. just, yeah. So did you, do you ever think about those days uh, and like, yeah, I mean, do you, what do you do for vacation time? Like, uh, I know you're probably not looking at vacation now because, now. you know, touring and everything. But when, uh, when you, you know, you finish touring and stuff, where, where do you go to relax and unwind? Well, where I like spending time now is is just my home in New York. I just, you know, I bought this little tiny studio in Manhattan, and I was like trying to get it livable and fix. And I just had kind of renovated it, and I was like, and then I left forever, you know. Right. And I went back for a few months, and then I had to go back to Idaho for some family stuff, and then I came back again, and then. I don't even know if you guys were aware, but I, I had an accident, so I was out again for three months. I, I didn't want like, Yeah, I, I saw, fi- that's horrible. I kind of yeah. figured everybody had asked you about that, and not to be the guys that, that didn't notice it, but... No, that's okay. It's just like in the timeline of things, it's kind of like, I'm just so grateful to be in my own life again. You know, it just feels like it's been so long. And so I like being home in new york right now just to because it seems like that's the only place i haven't been (laughs) right yeah yeah and especially with everything you've been through you know with the accident and all of that knowing that you know yeah you're you're good to go i mean uh you know i i I, yeah we kind of glossed over it i figured everywhere you go people are like oh hey he's here uh how was that and it's funny some people have no you know i did it wasn't i didn't make a big deal out of it i had to move some shows so we so we had to like talk about it but you know, people who follow me know that I was hit by a bus, and 
and um, I no can joke. talk about it now, yeah. and it's difficult. It was, but I can talk about it now, and I now I'll talk about it in the show because I've never. I don't know. I say like, I just can't imagine being a stand-up comedian, getting hit by a bus. And then just not mentioning it, you know, like yeah, it feels absolutely. like it's something that I have to talk about. Um, also, people, you know, if they're coming to the show, they may or may not know. But yeah, I was out. I was out for three months um, and three and a half months. Um, it happened in Los Angeles, so I was there for a month, and then I was back in Idaho, between Idaho and Utah, doing physical therapy, and, wow. um, and now I'm back in New York. Um, well, we're certainly yeah, glad you're yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the extent I yeah. mean, I read I read about it obviously, and then the extent of your injuries with like compound fracture uh, and the broken ribs insane. and the puncture lung. Insane. I was like, oh my god! Like you know, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. you know some some people exaggerate. Yeah, they get like clipped or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you a bus kinda, hit me, and like ah, oh, the the rearview mirror hit yeah, you. Yeah, you kind <laughs> of real man it too because I ch I checked your Instagram and we follow you. We have for a, a minute. And your Instagram, I think you just said with like a blue background, it just said, got to move some shows. That's <laughs> it. I'm just like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to move some shows. You, uh, it, it seemed, <laughs> you are the toughest human alive, I think. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, well, I was trying to keep the shows, to be honest. It, it <laughs> what? Happened, uh, <laughs> oh, my God, man. It happened uh, January 1st, and I had these big shows uh, the end of January in Salt Lake City, which is one of my bigger markets, and we had sold out like, 6,000 seats, oh uh, you know, and and we were like, and some of these people had had tickets for two years already because the show had been moved so oh, many times. Right. And I, it happened January 1st, and the surgery in my arm went really well, and that's what everybody was concerned about. I, I have a titanium plate in my arm now. Whoa. <laughs> so I was um, I getting my mobility back really quick, and then... Um, I was like, I think I can do it. You know, I can just stand up there and talk. Like, I, I won't be super animated. This was like a week or two out. Sure. And I, I was like, let's just keep the shows. And then a week out, um, my mom drove to L.A. to be with me. I couldn't, like, do this on my own. And then she, we were driving back to Salt Lake to get ready for the shows. And on the drive there, I just realized my lung wasn't ready yet. Like, I couldn't talk well enough without... I would just... It was just too noticeable, and so we ended up canceling the show. So I was forced to make some sort of announcement, <laughs> like I had to, right. because these sh there was so many tickets for me, and people had had, like they would, they needed to know why it was yeah. being moved again. So, so we had to make the announcement. But I was, I was trying to keep everything I could, and then, you know, but. Anyway, that's what that's what happened. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Well, we're so. we're glad you're okay, and you sound uh, yeah. great. My God, it's yeah. Uh, thank you. I got some ways to go yet, but um, I, you know, I'm just so grateful that um, I'm back in my life. I, it's just one of those things where you go, wow. I'm I'm so uh, I realized what I had, and yeah. I don't I don't ever want to take it for granted. You know. I love that, so, and that is, I mean, more. Yeah. I mean, I, it shouldn't, I would like to think that for a lot of us, it shouldn't take something as tragic as what happened to you for us mm. to realize that what we have is so precious. <laughs> now, but, Ryan, you know, like, but uh, hearing I, you say that should be a reminder to us and all the listeners, it's like, yeah, man, this is not a, this, be is, worse. this is a gift, and you need to uh, live it, live it as hard as you can. I've always said yeah, that I, I mean, we all have challenges, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm kind of jealous a little bit. Oh, and hear me out. Here we go. Oh, here we go. God, that's so I've, insulting. Well, I've I've always <clears throat> this is our friend. Why are you saying this to our friend? I've always wanted a near death experience because oh yeah, that's on my bucket list. Well, everybody who has one says they appreciate life so much better after. I thought Ryan and, did a pretty good job of appreciating life before he got yeah. hit by the bus. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, but no, but you heard him. He said but he, he loves his life. But he but he appreciated way more now, and I. I <laughs> Kinda, I want that. I feel like someone I should mean, we sell can make that. that happen. <laughs> yeah, we can. But I don't want the pain associated. <laughs> like yeah. I want, I want what something. <laughs> well, I, I need something like where you almost stepped you off want a the building. Appreciation with no pain. Okay. Like someone grabs my shirt as I almost fall off a building, and then I'm like, whoa! But I don't have to go. You know, the compound fracture. I don't think the it's gonna work the same way. <laughs> like, no, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I just need a near death experience. Uh, sorry, well, I can tell you something that might be. This is my perspective on this. I um, 
like a uh, almost a year, like a, a year, almost exactly before this, my father had passed away, and it was like he had had a lot of um, medical issues. He was fighting cancer for like ten years. Sure. With, he beat the cancer, but had all sorts of complications that required very risky surgeries. And um, he got a lot of extra time. And part of that, my gratitude for that time in, in during the pandemic is I got a lot of time with him. But what I'm saying is, during some of these very risky kind of uh, procedures, I remember thinking, like, oh, uh, what happens is everything drops away. All the things that you think are important become not important. And I realized this is a lesson, and I want to remember this, you know. Cut to, like, wh- just one year later, not that long. Yeah. I'm laying in the hospital, and I was mad at myself because I realized that I had forgotten some of that. Right. You know, and I go, I want to, re- it, that's just the human condition. It's really hard to not forget you know, you just, it's like that's our struggle as humans. It's like we have to learn the, these lessons over and over again. So I'm just saying, like, I had that experience, but I hope I can keep remembering it. Like, you know, because I had it, like, two kinds of dramatic things happen back to back. Sure. It, it, it's like I learned it twice, and so it made me realize how easy it is to not remember it. So... Now I'm like, okay, remember how easy it is to forget and try not to forget. But, you know, that's yeah. just life. That's, I, that's, that's so our, hard, that's Ryan. <laughs> it is so hard. Well, what you're I'm, describing is I'm, virtually impossible, I'm, but I, I get what you're saying. Yes. I'm back to shaking hands. And I'm like, I'm just sharing my drinks. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm doing it again. What the hell? Like, it just happened. I can't remember. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's our brain. I blame our human brains. Yeah, They're okay. not good. They're broken. Yeah. They're lazy. Yeah. They don't want to remember. They're flawed, for sure. They don't want to remember the lessons that you're like, I'll never forget forget this. No, push it away. Push it away. <laughs> and then yeah. a year later, I'm like, I'll eat this gum off the We floor. literally have to have a saying, never forget, so that <laughs> yeah. we don't forget we certain forget. tragic events. Yeah. You're like, what was here? Yeah. Well, Right. Hey, Ryan, thank so, you. No, go ahead. Sorry. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah. No, that's good. I, I'm sorry if we got a little too deep or we got it, but... Yeah. We're, we're, no, I think I went there. And I, I was just remembering as I was doing this, I think I, I think I did this last time I was with you guys. Something about being with you guys. Like, <laughs> we, yeah, we... Whenever we talk... To you, like, I'm sorry. I'm like, Our guys like I'm you, like, but man, we are a downer to you. Wow, we suck the life No, right. you're not a downer. You're not a downer. I just get I just get real and like introspective or something. And I'm like, I, I, I hope people know that... Um, I do have a comedy show also. <laughs> no, no, so, uh, no, that's why they people, know you. No, but that's why you. people like you is because <laughs> everything you say is authentic and it's genuine. I think, oh. that, I think that's why people relate to it, you know, is because it's yeah, yeah. real. That's nice. No, that's, that's true. Nice. It's just true, though, because, like, I, I think that's why, because, I, like, I, we were talking about you this morning, and to put it in perspective in a, in a tiny compliment, you know, Sam and I were talking about you, and then somebody in our chat room said, oh, he's a clean comic, and I said, no, he's not a clean comic. A clean comic would be a person that has to be clean. I think what you're getting with Ryan is, is just him. I think if you were his friend, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think that if, you were, if we were just, like, really good friends that you would uh, have an abundance of blue words or curse words that you use anyway. I think you're just being you on stage, and it just happens to not be uh, filled with tons of curse words. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Although this morning I had some flight delays that um, okay. would have been an exception that got me. Yeah, occasionally <laughs> those happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah but hey, w- you know, w- we appreciate your time, man. And uh, anytime you want to come on here and get like real deep and metaphysical and not talk about your comedy, <laughs> we will. We love it, yeah. and we will have you. But uh, you're at Doctor Phillips. You're in the uh, the Pew Theater, which is where we were. Yep, uh, it's a great spot, and uh, and we urge everybody to get out there and get your tickets. Two shows. What are the times on those? Again, Sam? Seven and nine thirty. Seven and nine thirty, and and man, enjoy your 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 time here. We're glad you're okay, and we really, really do appreciate the time today. Thank you, guys. I always appreciate you too. I really, I really do. All right, no, man. Thanks, Ryan. Take care of yourself. We'll talk soon. Okay. Sounds good. All okay. right. Be well. Yeah. That is uh, Ryan Hamilton. Oh, well, I turned. Oh, you it. cut yourself off yeah. there. I turned everything. I hit the wrong button. Um.
Well, he's a great man. It's it's we just want to have a real conversation, you know, like yeah, uh, yeah. that's what I like, uh, you know, because I feel like. Uh, oh, we all we're all conditioned to get to the end of this and then want to do the. Uh, what did we do the thing? Yeah, we did the thing. He was a, a great. He's always a good interview. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know how accomplished he is and how good his stuff is to. I mean, I, I watch when I saw because he's we've had him in multiple truly times. One of the most unique co- comedians you'll see when I saw his Netflix special pop up and that's why when i saw it i was like oh we know him yeah. we like yeah. and i watched it and i was like oh this guy is yeah uh, he has a presence it. he has good. a dry presence about him that will just yeah, literally yeah. light you on fire He's well so funny. dr phillips was nice enough to give us a couple tickets to both of his shows wah, tonight. Wah, wah. should we uh what? give him out to the twitch chat yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. let's give him hey, out to the twitch if you're in twitch and you join us uh daily monday through friday we usually start around 10 30 a.m and go to it right around 3 p.m mm. if you're in there hey we, we can give you out some tickets now uh i'm gonna let you give them out samantha because uh okay i don't see i don't know who's in there well there's, you can't uh, see it on your glasses yeah, 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 you, glass. no, you can turn uh, your monitor on you, you gave up on that yeah. 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 i need a monitor here i need to see what's happening in the chit chat chop chop who is in there? Is it, we got is Tracy that, Claus, Frog and Molly. Dr. Bones. Dr. Dr. Bones. Bones. Yeah, there's Dr. Bones in there. That's what it looked like. Real Cadillac Pat is in there. <laughs> oh, he's in there? He said, not right. me. I got to work. Curtis J79, if you really want to go, let me know. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Uh, Curtis? I'll hook nah, you up. I don't know about Curtis. Uh, what about Big Fat Norm? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. But uh, We give him too much stuff. Too, they need what two about seats. peeing in the uh, mm. uh, uh, peeing in the parking garage, Tracy? <laughs> okay, no, don't say that. I don't know. P.P. Um, Tracy. <laughs> What's her new name now? You know, I'm super, Yellow Claw. <laughs> I got nervous when Dr. Phillips popped in there. <laughs> because, uh, it, oh, yeah, they were watching. It said that. It said yeah, Dr. P. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, no, um, I'm like, Dr. P? Who's that? The doctor's in. <laughs> <laughs> He's out here listening to us. I'm, I would have never thought. I thought it was Dr. Pepper. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh. I'm so used to, uh, like, you know, big businesses or corporations not, uh, Let's like, Let's jump caring. in there and see how the interview <laughs> with Ryan's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wrong theater. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> no one even told me that. I just, I shouldn't even guess that. Why did I guess? Idiot. Because I didn't even, like, yes, there's multiple I don't theaters. know why you would guess anything. Why don't you just get the facts before you? <laughs> no. <laughs> we facts. like guessing. <laughs> We're the guessing guys. I'm like, you can't get it from that. <laughs> <laughs> from a toilet seat. <laughs> I have no idea. I just I don't know what we're talking about. I'm just doing yes and. <laughs> no, I know. You see how I just follow along? He's yeah, like, yeah. you can't get it from that. And then I'm like, what is he talking about? Oh, toilet right, seat. He's talking about toilet seats. We got mm-hmm. one to give away. Uh, who else? Oh, Curti- Curtis actually can't go. Curtis, no, is that Curtis Earth? You say? Is that? Curtis Earth, the you, trivia man? You did the Facebook equivalent. Is, is this still available? <laughs> yeah, is this still oh, available? Yeah, I didn't want it anyway. Oh, should I give it to a Cadillac Pat, he wants to go. I thought he was. Uh, he yeah, had, he said working. he had to work. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, Cadillac yeah. like uh, Pat said okay. he had to well, work. Well, who can actually go, you guys? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what do we this have? One for seven. Idea. This is a nine. dumb idea. Curtis is in Ohio. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thanks for wasting you know, my time, Curtis. Uh, ban him from this room. <laughs> Eliminate him from the room. Yeah, yeah. Curtis, you've been pissed me off. <laughs> Norm <laughs> says he's not going half the chats out of state. Big fat oh, Norm's not going. Out of state. What good are you in the chat? <laughs> Who's a listening in this local? I hate the chat. The show Turn is it off. tonight. There's one at 7 and there's one at 9.30. It's tonight. And we're going to sit here until we get two winners. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> we're going to make you take them. Yeah. Cancel your plans. <laughs> yeah. Forget your kids. Uh, Get a babysitter. Yeah, yeah. You're going out. Big bone air. If you, Can you actually go? Because I'll give it to you. He says, I can oh, but go, I don't but wanna. I don't want to. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jesus. you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Yeah. Phelps still in here? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just, I can just give him away in the BDM group. That's what I was. Uh, Wait, you know, somebody's asking I was trying for, to reward the guy. Oh, I know. Somebody's asking for the tickets. They what? said, I'll take both pairs. Oh, that's Dr. Phillips. They want him back. <laughs> oh, no, uh, they're still in there. They were still there. in there the whole time. Oh, Dr. Phillips is taking it back. You see what you did? Great job. <laughs> Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome.
Welcome to the Friday Free Show of a Mediocre Time. Hey, everybody. It is another A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. Dan. Tom. Samantha's here. Hello, Sam. Hey. You're completely unprepared today. Hi, What's going on? Late. What's going on? Why are we running we, late? We had, a, we had a comedian interview. We had a meeting. We did. We had a so meeting. So much busy week. Busy we had a meeting this morning with a professional man. Very oh, professional. Yeah. Can I say what kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profe- we met with a dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm morning. excited because yeah. I've always said uh, we should partner up with a dentist. Oh. And, uh, you know, he, we're he, doing it. He's our age. He's right up the street. It's perfect. I think he's a bit younger. He's a little huh? younger. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my I age. No, 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 no. I can tell. He did not look 40. I can tell by his legs he was younger than us. He had great skin. Because you, and I, you and I are covered and we have veiny legs. Hold on. Yeah, I don't. Huh? Seth is here. How you doing, Seth? Hi. You go Good. to the doctor. You were just at the doctor. You don't. You don't worry about your teeth. This morning, yeah. Um, no, I. No. Hold on a second. Pause for a second. You were at the doctor this morning. Like we're like we didn't even finish the intro. And I didn't. Up. I lied to. I lied. You're lying Tom. all the time. You're oh, a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I lied to Tom about yeah. moving. Racist I, liar. I, 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 no, no. Yeah. You know, I don't believe when you say you have uh, things to move I do have private right. lessons later today. I did not have them this private morning. Private lessons? I had a what pl- does that mean? That's what I... Th- I teach private lessons for martial arts. To who? Private. Old ladies? No, all my students. They take private lessons. For Young them. guys or they're fat guys? Fat guys? No, this right. guy's not fat. Just my buddy that owns Poor, ho- poor Choice. Poor choice. Where do you want to learn karate privately? Yeah, no, he he's, he's <laughs> taking karate. Is he's he a bar owner. Bar- he's a bar- Yeah, he's a bar owner. Give, give me. I need watering holes. Where the company's like <laughs> okay. a goddamn oh, shitter. I need <laughs> no, all. Any, don't talk about. I need it. anything I can get. Yeah, but anyway, I lied Go to you about bar, moving around tell this him, morning. Uh, Tom and Dan watering hole. Then. What's this place called? Poor habits. Poor choice. <laughs> so um, it's on Mil- Mil- watering. Our newest watering hole. I was at the doctor instead. Well, what, what, about what? What are you pregnant? Brad? You think you have? Oh, I have. It's a big COVID. relief. No, I. I, well, I do. I bigger do. hemorrhoid. Cough. What do you got? Breast okay, cancer. Okay, so I don't want breast cancer. I don't want to get into. You guys know about my brother. I don't want to. Oh God! Why did you guys bring, bring it up? No, that's what he does because he's like, all right. Yeah, he doesn't want to get bullied, so he brings the brother. I'm throw something serious on it and make you feel. Well, during COVID, I mean, you guys know I've been having. I've been seeing the doctor for the past year about my night sweats and all weird symptoms that I've been having and stuff like that. Right. So. Ew. Right, uh, four days after I got COVID, I felt a giant lump. Like my lymph node was swollen up under my ear, right here, like mm-hmm. big time. I get those. All so the I was time. like, "There it is. That's my smoking gun." There's, I'm fucking half lymphoma <laughs> as well. Okay. <laughs> so like, I'm for the past week, I've been a nervous fucking wreck. I called my doc. Called That's my oncologist. That's he had to move around for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you had to move your lymphoma around. Yeah, I had to move. No, that's, not, that's just being nervous about it. <laughs> well, what do you think? I'm having night sweats. I get. I get that. That's because you have anxiety. Brother. You're giving yourself well, night sweats. Pause for a second. Oh, I'm yeah. on his team because just because you don't have lymphoma doesn't mean that you're not acting as if you do have lymphoma. Right. It's real inside <laughs> of us. Okay. Oh, no. I'm not gonna let you bully the man. Because I know Thank what you. it feels like to think no. I have AIDS. And I, had and full, I feel the AIDS coursing through my body and it is killing me. Yeah. And I, I don't really have no. it, but my body is uh, its treating yeah. it as if I had it, right? Yeah, What's the difference? Just having oh, it. Oh, no, I, it. I literally said to myself, <laughs> the I have The only difference it. is it. testing my blood, but I still no. got it. Well, oh it's like God. being yeah. scared of ghosts. Are you scared? Yes, but it's a but ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Not real. But are there That's physical the symptoms of the ghost? No, because I actually have, if I didn't have any symptoms or any reason to think that, then... And it's like believing well, family history too. Family right? history. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm with you, man. Symptoms. I I get the irrationality yeah. of this type of fear. By the way, I would like to say I do believe in ghost ghost energy <laughs> drink, <laughs> which drink I'm that. currently drinking right now. By the way, Sam screamed at me right before the show started. Saying, Don't let him drink it. I'm like, I can't stop him. Well, he said he was man. having a mini heart attack <laughs> right I before am. we started. I Don't am. drink that. You are pretty poison. amped up before. I'm yeah. having a I'm having <laughs> a mini heart. All week yeah. I've been having these. That blue matches your hat though. Thank you. This a free hat that a listener got me. This is my brand new. New Rocket City Trash Pandas hat. Christine sent me a couple of minor league baseball hats. I got to thank her when I get my hat. I get, they're at home. I can take pictures of that. But right now, I'm drinking a Ghost <sighs> Energy Drink Sour Patch Kids Blue Raspberry. This thing's got 9,000 grams of caffeine and going to blow oh, my geez. tits off. You know, this is a toxic work environment. Yeah. Uh, because I... 
uh, all week long, Daniel has been talking to me and then being like, I'm going to faint. And yeah, then grab the wall. Multiple times. And then hold the wall. And then all. just fell through the coffee table. And then all I do is pause for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and like you did with our guest. I, I, show, <laughs> I show no concern or any. I don't even talk. I just press pause. And then when he regains Very his good. composure, <laughs> I, just, I just start talking to him. Like, I literally. Good, I don't even. I'm going to come live with you. Yeah. I don't even say, are you okay? Wait a minute. No, we'll make Unless each other horrible. We'll, we'll, no. we'll make each other horrible. No, no, no. I will be compassionate to you. Is no, I can't be with you. Sick of you, you yet? You guys she, can cuddle. No, well, she's actually been very, very sweet the past week. That's she knows when how you know they're going to leave. She, oh, yeah. <laughs> Andrea does this all the time. When she leans in and she's like, she's what can enough. I do? Andrea will be like, well, we just, what can I do? What can I do to assist I, you? I just try to make, I just, and I'm like, oh, she's going to fucking the, leave The first me. thing I said to her was, I feel bad for what you're about to have to go through because I thought that I had it. And she goes, and I'm, and I'm like, oh I my would, and, God. And I said, I wouldn't want you to be with me as, as I go through this. And she goes, well, that's not your decision to make is what she said. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. She is. Isn't she I'd awesome? Like, Bye. <laughs> that's she's <laughs> awesome. Shout out to Tracy. She's awesome. Yeah, I know you would have no. been. Bye. <laughs> but I don't know what she'd really. That's just what she says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she right. says. That's when she's she like, now's my chance. That's true. I've been literally <laughs> sleeping with like, her. And you're, all, and you're like, oh, this guy. She has to. It's real this time. She fixes the blanket under my, on top of my sheet every night now if I start because I'm worried about sweating so I put a blanket down now while I sleep that makes it worse it's hard <laughs> yeah, you need to just run no it's better I, I haven't sweat in the past few days so it's nice she it's, checks your sweat you gotta get blanket. one of those uh, <laughs> trust my those sleep. gel <laughs> cooling <laughs> pillows that uh, it doesn't matter how sell. cold no. I am I could be freezing it, laying down Butler right texts me he it, still texts it, me all these uh, <laughs> crazy things he buys Butler bought a $600 you're the one he's texting <laughs> yeah he'll, Butler will text me in the middle of the night he bought a $600 it's a pad that has like water rolling through it and you lay on top of it and it whooshes like cold water underneath your entire body and keeps <laughs> well, you chill all night. That's nice. Yeah. It's called Sounds a chili good. pad. Listen, if I know Shout out to Butler and his chili pad. <laughs> if I know what good looking twenty two year olds love, it's yeah. putting a blanket on their own. <laughs> <Yeah. head. laughs> Old people. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys like do the, tonight? <laughs> uh, I gotta go check my boyfriend's sweat blanket. <laughs> 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 Oh no, he's got oh, it! Oh my God, you got Corona! I got the oh, lingering I, cough from it for sure. Oh yeah, uh, somebody else has a lingering cough. Weeks. You got the long haul? It's just a tickle right here. What oh, I told you. Do you my have God, that too? You guys are asking about no, Tickle Brothers. You guys are gonna kill you me. Feel that? No, you, you feel it too? like you have it. That's no, asking my brothers. I got it for the, they just uh, that's when you fuck the same girl, right? Asking yeah, my yeah, brothers. Yeah. They said that on uh, hockey last Anything night. Like, you're not allowed to say that. Did they? Yeah, the one guy's like, oh, they're in the box, like Eskimo Brothers. I'm like, uh oh. No, like uh, no. anything that's respiratory gives you like lingering bronchitis or respiratory, whatever. Respiratory? I'll rest when I die. So, um. My pet scan was good, don't clear. No. <laughs> I had a pet scan. scan. You got a pet scan, you, not I your dog, a, you idiot. I had a pet scan oh. last week. The, is that the one that that's they the do hard, the whole. Yeah. That's the one me, that that's my mom the radioactive got. one they give you that lights up if it is actually cancer. Yeah, that's my the mom one that, got that. They only do that when you have a diagnosis of cancer. So when I was in there, they're like, so what? what this cancer? causes cancer, just so you know, this well, pet scan. And I was worried about that too. It does, because you're doctor, pumping yourself with unnecessary radiation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, I wonder if- And I'm worried about that now. Too. You now that I'm a, negative, I'm worried about that. You got to get a therapist, like, dude. Uh, next Tuesday, <gasps> psychiatrist. Next Wednesday, psychologist. All I have right. two in a row. Yeah. No, no. Well, mine's leaving town and I can't find one. Uh, you know, well, I'll let you know how this yeah. like, This one's in Tampa, Dude. but it's all... It's Tampa. All I can't go Asian. that far. They, they no, I'm not driving. It's virtual. It's, it's, it's a virtual okay. visit. Uh, we, they uh, only do that now. We stumbled upon this thing that I didn't know <laughs> there was a, a thing. thing where Daniel is too crazy for a therapist. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to take him because uh, how dare it's you? A, it's a, <laughs> he's not wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait till they meet it, me. It's a, he, it's, <laughs> no, it's a, whatever, yeah, you, you're, like, you're not gonna find one either. It's like we're we're like remember, battling. I'm Spider Man. You're Venom. Remember, remember, <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's like the guy from Tiger King with three teeth walking into a dentist. People are like, I don't know. <laughs> no, thank you. Too, like, yeah, it's, it's too, no. too much work. <laughs> it's too much work. Yeah, my I get, like, my therapist is leaving. And no, you know she's going to do better things for herself. Good on her. I'm I'm very very happy for her. And she yeah. is lovely. If you're in the Satellite Beach area and you need a recommendation, I got your gal. She's fantastic. But that's not what you told me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. That is a lie. She won't do a virtual. Or she's not going to practice. She can, anymore. but I do uh, EMDR, and there's a disconnect there. I'd rather. You read minds? Uh, no, but I'm doing the thing where you hold the little things and he doesn't Scientology know that shit. Yet. No, no. He, he doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's a little. Uh, I don't know. The ghost. You know, oh, fuck it. I'm on semantics now. I'm their new yeah. junior producer. Yeah. I'm little junior producer. I'm an intern. I hope she doesn't. I can't be that. treated like this. <laughs> are they? Are they? 
volcano <laughs> yet? <laughs> um, anyway, too crazy for therapy. Good luck. No one's going to take you. Yeah, damn. We'll okay, says. this is what happened. I'm going to lay it all out, too. I never lay it all out. My therapist gave me two recommendations. I wrote those two recommendations. Those two recommendations said, we're full. We'll give you... So each one of them gave me two recommendations. So now I'm up to four. What, recommendations for medicine? For new therapists. For new therapists. So oh, I hit oh. those four therapists up, and they give me two because they're full. So Everyone's, now I... Because everybody's melting down yeah, so in the world, so I everybody's have, going to therapy. I have 12 recommendations. Seven the, of them I have sent emails to. Seven of those just came back over the past two days. They're all booked up, and they're oh. giving me recommendations. I'm like... I'm yeah. at like 18 so people that are full. So the one, one I got is probably shitty because they're open? That's what I'm thinking, too. They gave me this one guy. They're like, well, they're we do have... hard. They were saying they... Well, we do have <laughs> Sheldon. I'm like, oh, hold Sheldon. on a second. Shel- I look yeah. at this guy. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hello there. I'm your new counselor. No, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this is like me. that guy, that influencer on YouTube. Who was the, the black guy that died? The influencer, Kevin... I'm blanking on his name, but he said some pretty horrible things about women. He would say, oh, if yeah, you okay. are if you are 35 years of age and you have not settled down or found somebody at this point, then you need to face the fact that you are damaged goods, that you are oh, not... Oh, I watched that. You, yeah, he's a good guy. You would agree he's, like, well, he's dead now. Yeah, so. He died. Um, but my <laughs> Seth's po- like, you're right. <laughs> oh, but my point is, there is a little bit Truth of me... Truth hurts sometimes. The, the, uh, there is a little part of me that thinks, well, if this guy, if all 18 that I've, I've messaged are all booked up... And and the one guy, Sheldon, yeah, yeah. I message him and he's like, yes, I've got nothing but time. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. I it's don't know. A, yeah, like never yeah. trust a contractor that is uh, n- not busy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In my it's mother's like, kitchen. Hey, I got to redo my uh, bathrooms. The guy's like, I can be there today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, Wait a minute. Oh, 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 Why no, can you be I here today? I think I know you. Are you stealing your BDM membership? <laughs> I think I know who you are. Uh, no, like with... <laughs> With uh, my mom had a sign in her kitchen. It said, "Never trust a skinny cook." Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's just yeah, yeah. yeah. And she had some other signs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she we don't talk yeah, about. She had some other ones. They're <laughs> weird. You can't talk about them. Hopefully, he gives me some yeah, good drugs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just you need drugs. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm on drugs. I'm on too nuts. I'm on uh, uh, Cella. No, not Celebrax. That's yeah, yeah. what my dad was on. I'm on um, uh, Cymbalta. Okay. And then my doctor said, "That's not enough." We gotta add uh, more. Yeah, You're yeah. gonna do a low <laughs> dose of <laughs> bus bar, and that's the one Ooh, I think that's. Bar. Yeah, yeah that I'm on bus like... bar. Yeah, that's the one that's I think fucking with my blood that pressure. German yeah. cereal. <laughs> yeah, that's mu- <laughs> that's muslix. <laughs> no, muslix. Uh, muslix. No, no, I thought it was that uh, Seitzenbauer. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Seitzenbauer has got all the nuts and grains. <laughs> Anyway, um, so, uh, oh, real quick, before we move on, because we got a lot to talk about. Uh, first, we, we got don't have anything to talk about. We, this is well, the lightest <clears throat> dump amount I've ever seen. No, uh, hey. <laughs> there's our hey, guest. I, we haven't finished Seth's story uh, because I want to uh, find out, uh, like, uh, what I it, see the past three weeks have been like. My number one mm. question, do not answer, is how long a real horny hypochondriac, like me, because we are both extra horny and we're both hypochondriacs, yeah, yeah, yeah. how long did it take you? you before you wanted to fuck because all throughout COVID I wanted to fuck crazy but I knew it couldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can do I it. I did. You were in like your doggy <laughs> yeah, style. Yeah, just the... turn your, yeah, yeah. No, um, like, my wife's not into Put that. a blanket. Mine was weird. It wasn't about my f- physical feeling. It was about my mental, because three days into it, I felt this and thought I, I, I oh, legit thought I had COVID. cancer. So I did a masturbation session, session where I was like really, really sad and like, Oh my was, God. Like, it was really weird. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I had to really try. It's like, oh man, I got cancer and COVID. I have to do a sad <laughs> masturbation session. Well, because I tried to, because I wanted to, but I didn't want to, because I tried and it was like, it was. I just felt sad and I just I, I had to just <laughs> really rip it hard to complete. Come on. Rip it hard. <laughs> 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 I've missed you. <laughs> so we got a live no, podcast. He's it's COVID everywhere. <laughs> yeah, God it's damn everywhere. it! Our poor guest. I tested it. I'm gonna. Neg- well, it's it's a little line, so it's <laughs> it's a yeah. little little faint line. So <laughs> 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 like Seth is. He's never going to expose anybody to COVID. He's so paranoid no, I would about not it. Do that to him. Um, no, too paranoid to even do a joke about it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, this is better than the red. <laughs> no, no uh, it's energy drink. It's this disgusting. one's really it good. Was garbage. Uh, we got a live podcast at the Hurricane Party. We're doing it at noon. If you want tickets, go to TomAndDan.com. Who are the guests going to be? Um, well, they're well, they're someone back well, out. They're changing. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, it's yeah. like it's literally as alive as our fish tank. Seth, you want to come uh, to the you know like <laughs> when your backup? It's a, the, May twenty eighth. Always, yeah. always back. Always no, you were going to be. Well, and then if somebody else comes, he's like, yeah, you know what? I, I don't need you at the rental we anymore. We had right? David Jolly booked. Yeah, yeah, but then he twenty eighth. Yeah. But then he got booked for it's all Memorial things comedy, or he got booked yeah. for the Netflix as a joke festival. Yeah, 
So he blew us off. Well, no, he need he needed to use to do that opportunity. I no, no, I agree with it. I'm just saying doo-doo he, opportunity. <laughs> he <laughs> doo-doo needed the doo doo opportunity, <laughs> so he's doing that. Uh, anyway, Seth, you're down. Uh, uh, what is down, this? What you're down, down to clown. This is a live yeah. podcast. We the same thing you did last yeah. year. Oh, right. Bring a couple the of your my bats. Boat, my boat, yeah. my, a tow board break thing. Yeah, that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah, your right. bat. I still have. I still have <laughs> the bat. Bring your I still have the bat taped to the bricks that I was supposed to break on your leg for my grand opening a year ago. No, oh, <laughs> you oh, still yeah. have that. I still have it sitting in my garage, waiting for. But aren't you going to give him payback by agreeing to do one of his events and then not showing up at a last minute? That already happened, didn't it? Yeah, I did that once. Yeah, okay. Or even Steven. You can bring your flute. I can bring my flute. Okay, let's talk about this. So then uh, we have some instruments in front of us. We'll be playing them a little bit later. Look at this. But um, a band director gave Daniel a flute and uh, he gave me a trumpet. They're nice ass. Yeah, uh, no joke. instruments, which we joked around. Like, did he steal these from you the You gotta studios? give those back? <laughs> yeah, we do have oh, to no. give them back. Oh, they're loaders? I thought they were. Yeah. I already uh, I mean, sharpened I, I, my I, name I'm on sure it. I'm sure if we kept them, I mean, what was he gonna do? I mean, I think I could fight a band director. <laughs> you know, like, what? Well, you know, I'm just saying, he dropped them off. And, yeah. and then the only thing I couldn't stop thinking about was how many young girls had put their mouth on this flute. Mm. Come on. I just kept uh, thinking about it. So, did you smell it? So the flute? Seth the, the walked yeah. in and saw the flute, and he's like, "Oh, he's like, why do you have a flute?" He's like, "I play flute." Why well, you got a flute? <laughs> I got a flute. And then you're like, "You have a skin flute?" flute. He's like, and then you were like, "I just played it the other day." I just played like, it last. I just played it in the car. And test, so, test weekend last weekend for my belt test for karate belt test. We have a party at my house. We do karaoke. Uh, guys, mind if I bring out my flute? <laughs> <laughs> and so you no, play I, the I, flute? I, I support children. I, no, it's not children. It's adults. There's no oh, children. Okay. It was all adults. adults. It makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, my, it's my adult oh, only karate I wanted party. to show. I wanted to show my students that I wasn't just. Hey oh, guys, gather a big, around! A big musclehead dummy karate guy. You know, <laughs> I'm not just a big musclehead dumb karate guy. <laughs> I'm also a flautist. I'm also a dumb flautist guy. Yeah. So you, and then I was like, you can play the flute, and then so. And I was pissed because you guys don't remember because I've mentioned it a dozen times. But I always think it's a lie. <laughs> I always think it's a lie. Too. I think everything you say is a lie. No, except for, fuck off. Except for kicking the door open on your grandma while she was <laughs> well, shitting. That. The only thing <laughs> I lie to my grandma. I just, I just lie about where I am to him. That's it. That's all okay. I'm lie. All right. I don't lie about anything else. So, do you uh, want me to try open it? Are we doing this now? When yeah, are we doing? Well, the- I want to hear. Uh, now I'm curious if Seth can play well, the flute. Let's see if we. Any, well, get your first trumpet. of all, I need to wipe. I need to wipe that mouthpiece down. First of all. Okay. Well. Oh, this is nice. And then I mean, I only. Here's my That's a nice one. Mine's like really. Mine's from my middle school still. It's just, it's br- it's black. All right, this is pretty it's nice. It's so like you gonna put oxidized. your trumpet together, buddy. So you played flute in middle school. I was second seat flute. Yeah, second uh, seat. That means you weren't that good. No, there's a girl that was really good. Yeah. Emily Wolfarth. Oh, Emily Wolfarth. She had really big boobies. Um, But for those of you that... Oh, my God. But just to get a sound... Oh, my God. You're going to... When, did you, play, yeah. when um, did you play trumpet? Yeah. Uh, play trumpet in, in middle, middle school, school too. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a trumpet guy. I got <laughs> it. <laughs> little chubby trumpy guy that like oh, red shit. Yeah. Red shit. <laughs> <a> long <laughs> hair. Like hey, that girl's playing a trumpet. <laughs> hey. We used to call our trumpet player Steak Burger because he's a little fat kid. Steak Burger. We called him Steak Burger. Hold hey, on. I hey, saw Steak Burger. Burger. That's, not, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's not how uh, bullying works. You, the flute player. I got bullied. Bully I got bullied. No, there was, a hier- there was a hierarchy of bullying. I bullied the Steak Burger kid, and all the really popular kids that weren't in band bullied me for my long hair and called me Mop Head. <laughs> hey, w- Hold on. Let's see if I can film Oh, my God. Oh, Don't blow it! Oh, you're gonna blow my ear down. Don't make him laugh! Don't make him laugh. So, got it! Alright. All right, this is the best show we've ever done. <laughs> you want to try my flute? If you wipe that off, yeah. Here, get it. wipe it on well, your shirt. You just had I'm COVID. Sure. What yeah. are you going to get? Yeah, you got, the, you got nature's booster. You're um, good. Um, so, uh, I don't know. What, we start a flute band? What do we got here? Well, we got wind instruments. We got a trumpet. He plays a flute. We got two flutes and a trumpet. Uh, Sam, you can play drums, right? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. He's got, I mean, the, he's got that finger action. Oh. You can tell he's got a young girlfriend because he's still got the finger action. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot it now. Yeah, I got it. Yeah! <laughs> uh, oh my god, you're like muscly racist Lizzo. <laughs> They're calling him Jethro Tool. <laughs> Jethro oh, that's up. Tool. Actually, that's why I did do it, because Jethro Tull, Ian Anderson. Really? Yeah, Jethro Ian Anderson? Th- Ian Anderson. Sitting on funny. a park bench, ching, uh, ching, 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 ching. I c- eyeing little girls with discontent. So you actually were a nerd in middle school and uh, went uh, like in high school too? I wasn't a nerd. I was like, no, in high school I was friends with everybody. That's why I was kind of like, you know, I was friends with the nerds. I was friends with the popular kids. I was a, Dude, if you play nerd. the flute in middle school, you're, you're not gay. the... Yeah. <laughs> you're oh, not cool and I got made fun of, yeah, for, for playing the flute. I didn't play it in high school. I moved to drums, but I played flute when I was like six or seven at Stetson and I did only the Suzuki method. So I only know how to, oh. to like, I don't really know how to read music. They weren't really teaching me. They were more teaching me like finger positions. And remember, I used a smaller flute that had a curved mouthpiece that you could trade out because it was for children. Because a, a flute's kind of a long instrument for a yeah. kid. If it's too long for your 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 body geometry. You wouldn't be able to do all the the yeah, yeah, yeah. the different positions with your hands. I can still read music. Like I download music on my computer all the time and try to mess with stuff. Like you I played the Game of Thrones theme on my. Instagram. I've heard you do the yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah. You and Tracy should start a band, like a weird she, flute band. She's gonna play. <laughs> Just have her dance around yeah, you know, yeah. with her top off yeah, while you're yeah. flouting around. Just flouting around. Yeah. Like belly dancing. Yeah, hey, I'd watch it. Yeah, um, I guess so. So speaking of flute, then our guest said, well, I played flute too, mm-hmm. which I'm like, oh, how many flute, flute? players uh, yeah, were there? Our guest played flute. So speaking of our guest, uh, a yeah. semi-awkward thing happened uh, because our, we got two guests here watching the show and they uh, paid. They won the auction. They won the yeah. auction, the Yellow Brick Road auction we had. And Why are you making it so weird for them? Though? Uh, well, no, I didn't. Well, no, <laughs> we had it on the schedule. Joe, they're like, oh, the uh, the auction winners are coming. They're gonna watch the show, and I'm like, oh, good. Sat's here. He'll like, you know, make a fool out of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll really turn it on. He'll do the flute thing. So and, and then yeah. uh, stick that in my ass. I'll do yeah. that too. <laughs> Don't so do that. They came. And do you want to show them his penis? No. You have a picture of his penis. <laughs> oh, we can share. Do you still have that on your phone? Oh yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, every time I text him, I see my dick. <laughs> out. I'm, I'm gonna Good. text him more so it gets rid of it. I don't. Kind of weird now. Yeah. Uh, looking you in the eye. It is weird. I can't weenie. look you. Every time yeah. I look down, I'm like, there it is. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sam looked at it. Yeah. 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 We all yeah. looked. We at all did. It. Yeah. You did the guess what is it? Brandon. You guys want to see? Brandon was impressed. By the way, this flute smaller than his dick. It's humongous. So anyway, our guests come. They were awesome enough to bring us some uh, White Claw mm-hmm. and some other beers. Brought and some Heineken Zeros here. So then, uh, and we were running late this morning because uh, usually our normal routine was uh, thrown off a little bit because we had Ryan Hamilton on and we haven't had a uh, you know, comedian Well, we had a before. meeting, then an interview. That, yeah. We're, kinda, yeah. we're so, running yeah. kind of old school, which is weird, but it feels good, right? Yeah, yeah. It kind of yeah. feels fun. It feels light and... So now Airy. I'm running around, and then our guests are just sitting on the couch. We're waiting for the show to start. So then I'm then I'm like, wait, so, you know, let's do some small talk with the guests. Why so. did you do that? Because like, did mm-hmm. you you knew what Chirping. I was doing, right? Like I came in here and I was yeah. saving files, but then I do a move, and it's by design and it's social anxiety. But I stay in here because this is like comfortable for me. So I stay in here, and I had saved everything, but I give it a beat until I work up the courage to reveal myself. <laughs> <in> the, you <laughs> uh, know, like I feel. Like yeah, a, yeah, I feel like almost right. like a disgusting creature. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I got to hide gather, behind the computer. Yeah, yeah. I got to gather enough, like, um, you know, I don't know what you even call it, courage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the hunchback of Tom and Dan. <laughs> yeah, I am the hunchback of Tom and Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is your bell tower. Yeah, I got ka kang ka I'll never get, what was her name? Esmeralda? What was that girl's so, name? Oh, oh the yeah. love interest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, was that was my right? least favorite Disney yeah. movie. Oh, it's so good. The I music's am, great. I didn't believe it. I'm like, there's yeah. no way she's still gonna stay with a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah. that guy? Yeah, because it's always at least the Beast turns into a handsome prince at the end. The Hunchback yeah. is just that's well, all he is. The ghoul. Beast is like MMA attractive, <laughs> Disgusting. right? Like the Beast is like you. See, it's tough life, but you yeah, know yeah. he can protect you. There's some redeeming qualities there, yeah, right? Manly qualities. Yeah, there yeah. are manly qualities yeah. that I find attractive. Even when he was the Beast, it wasn't that bad. No, like the Hunchback is like. Oh pubes. my it's like god! Sex with a buffalo. That's <laughs> awful. What the beast? Yeah, no, really. you shave the pubes down. Well, is he a beast from da- halfway down? I as have well, a or feeling beast that beast groomed his balls. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the hunchback never did. No. Hunchback <laughs> never groomed his balls. That motherfucker's wearing robes. Anyway, <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna do some small talk with our guests because they're here. What do you need... think about hunchback's balls? <laughs> <laughs> no, they need, uh, you know, the, the Tom Van experience. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Is that anything like the girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, so I stopped and started having a conversation. Like, hey, and I'm editing commercials and listening to this yeah, yeah. awkward uh, interaction. So I, <laughs> and yeah. I'm just hiding in here trying to uh, regain my composure. So, so many heart attacks. Um, it's a girl and a guy, right? So immediately, they're right here. I am not you, can, <laughs> you can ask their names. You can say <laughs> hi to them. No. They're right there. <laughs> well, I forgot their names. <laughs> 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 I can't remember anything. Okay. Great at small talk. Uh, well, I never asked their names. I uh, one up you. <laughs> you guys should listen when I introduce <laughs> myself. That's the whole key. You yeah, yeah, yeah. But you never you did. did. Yeah. Yes, you I never, did. Got, I the, you never got that far. Would you remember? Huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, of uh, yeah. Well, that's what I do. You're going to rely on this guy. <laughs> yeah, of this is Grayson Hall. I have to really say well, it Why like do you even bring it up? He's like, like, <laughs> he's like, well, that's <laughs> why I asked him for a name when I introduced him. For you myself. guys. So that, no, you yeah, listen to him. Oh, you're doing it for us? Yeah, right. I wasn't doing it for you, but you guys should have listened as I did that. We don't listen to anybody. Anyway. Well, fuck all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so We're I... We're really gone in an hour and a half, and then new people come in. <laughs> yeah, I... In s- you know, anytime I see, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, a guy and a girl together, I just assume they're together, right? Uh, you know... It, you know so they're, they're not? Or not a guy and guy or girl girl. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a little weird. weird. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a little weird. So, um, I I was like, oh, where are you guys... Uh, you guys Whoa. have a long drive? I do this <laughs> on here. <laughs> Old man talk. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, have a long drive? How's the weather? How's the water? Adjusting my tie. Jesus. It was hot in here. Anyway. You see the reverse in the Roe v. Wade. <laughs> so... I, uh, I I I talk like where are you from? They're like oh we're you know uh, coming from Oviedo whatever not that far. Ah, like, the okay. chickens I'm familiar. Yeah yeah. <laughs> then, Oviedo chickens okay. Yeah yeah and then you uh, really weren't listening. And then she says oh, yeah but we're divorced. <laughs> and then oh. like, she said this is my ex husband. Yeah this is oh, this is my ex husband. And then I heard I heard I heard a uh, inaudible uh oh in Tom's <laughs> brain. <laughs> oh. oh I thought that was in the oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was a pause, and it was like he's he's panicking. He doesn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. you threw me off my normal. <laughs> I was gonna do the where you come from. Then where I was did you go? Oh, where yeah. did you come from? <laughs> 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 you were gonna go standard. I do the Ashley Simpson. <laughs> I was gonna go into full blown Joe. <laughs> never, never go full blown Joe. Yeah. And then uh, so then when they said, oh yeah, we're you know we're this is my ex husband. Then I was ah, like, you guys have waited. I can usually go anywhere someone's going in a conversation just because fucking I've been working with Daniel for so long. He's going every crazy direction. I have to keep up. Oh, yeah. You it's know, my fault. Victim now. blaming. Yeah, yeah, he really was. But right? he just went right into why'd He's you like, get the crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to put go up right, with this crazy right right personal. The, the answer was I'm good at small talk <laughs> because my business partner's a fucking moron. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say moron. I just said you, you <laughs> jump crazy. Right. Yeah. You, you try to throw me off all the time. You're, you're going some direction I didn't expect, so I have to be ready for anything. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, I made you the Navy SEAL of talk. But I wasn't ready for that, <laughs> like, at all, because I had no... Uh, because it was well, it, awkward be to be honest, like, what? why'd you bring that, your ex-husband? It's not, a, yeah. it's not a thing that everybody does. I mean, like, I know a lot of divorced people, but normally they don't pal around. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Like, they don't show... Like, maybe they'll show up together to an event where the kids... Yeah, or like something a like birthday that. party. Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. Or or yeah, dance, birthday party. I see it in dance with Maisie's dance. I'll see the dad. He always oh. shows up with his new girlfriend, and then she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's oh, way hotter. Yeah, she's oh, pregnant, yeah. and then and, and like, I can't wait to show, yeah. when me and Crystal get divorced. I'm gonna show up with my new girlfriend. At, and she's uh, pregnant. Oh, I can't, got, I can't wait for that either. And you gotta do this move. You gotta point to the baby and be like, "This time, I'm gonna do it right." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They love that. They love that. I've seen this. That's the Chris Pratt. I've seen. That's the Chris Pratt. I am not kidding you when I tell you I've seen the dad at the dance thing with the new wife who's pregnant and he's like pointing and so proud while while his current daughter is on stage dancing. Mm-hmm. I like that this time I'm going to do a ring. <laughs> like this time I'm going to stick around. Yeah. I'm oh, going to be yeah, more yeah, present. Yeah. Be more in the moment. My therapist and I are working on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I quit drinking. The, uh, the husband always changed when yeah. they uh, find the new I'm girlfriend. a good man now. They're like quit drinking. Yeah. I got on my anxiety yeah. medication. Well, yeah, what the I, fuck? I love God. I'm a chaplain at my church. Yeah, yeah. I, I hold a trial, the, it takes a trial period. Yeah. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but the I first the life you're crazy. Uh, I do the offering plate every Sunday. Why didn't you help yourself when we were married? Anyway. So uh, well, I didn't like have heard that before. I didn't have anywhere to go when she's like, "This is my ex-husband." Because I was like, "Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I started laughing. <laughs> Somebody started laughing. Yeah, then I was like, "Whoa, you threw me off with that." And I was still hiding. And then yeah, I, I thought, I... and then she's like, "Yeah, I'm the one who bit on it for my ex-husband. We've been uh, divorced." Well, now. then Tom's like, "Wait a minute, did you get divorced after you won?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I thought it was awkward. Like I didn't bought Uh-oh. this for you, yeah. and I was like, "That was only two months ago." That rules, was like, that was rules. Re- you gotta be here. 
And then how long ago was it? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? You don't oh. listen to anybody. I thought it was seven months. <laughs> yeah, that's long. Wait, uh, seven months even That's long when I got divorced 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? 12 years ago was when I was divorced. She bought it for herself. Oh and you my keep God. saying she bought it for him. Did you no. divorce him because he jacked off in the back of your smoothie <laughs> place you guys own together? Because <laughs> that's why he got divorced. I mean, that's <laughs> part of the reason. <laughs> yeah. And then I was and like, that's in the court documents. Look it up. And, and I'm like, that's pretty <laughs> awesome that uh, you could still, because that is, is a rarity that you are still friends. I actually won't even friend request my uh, accept my friend request. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, that's most. Uh, <laughs> like once you get a divorce, yeah. If like, you don't have any kids, especially, yeah. There's no reason to continue yeah. talking. Well, about even if you have it's kids, a part in your life that like you experience together. It's a me- how did regrets. it end? With her crying in a closet. Okay, get well, the fuck out of my house. <laughs> get the fuck out of my closet. <laughs> well, I don't think she's gonna accept that phone request. Hold on, she was hiding in a closet. And it you, it wait a minute. It wasn't we hiding. We saw Tracy hiding in a closet. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a yeah, here. Yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, he place. loves the closet. The first one was a bigger <laughs> alehouse. <laughs> what the yeah. first one was? She's hiding in an alehouse. No, it was a bigger. It was a bigger closet. She was a bigger. Oh, you had more money then. Crying, and I was like, "Why are you crying? Stop crying! I'll give you some." <laughs> no, I do not say that. I would never know the physical. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was all just emotional damage. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Both ways. Emotional it wasn't just damage. one way. I know. I I just like the fact that uh, there are people uh, that live in this world that can still They're be still friends cool with, with other, their yeah. uh, ex wife or ex husband. Oh, I know a lot of. I'm the only person I think in here that's of the ilk of just burn it all down oh. and never talk <laughs> to the person again, right? Mm. I'm the bur- bur- I maybe uh, maybe yeah, most people, Sam in there. A lot of people I don't really uh, keep in contact with anybody. You and <laughs> I, the, okay. I think you and I would be the more likely to let. Oh no, we we got to cut that cancer out and he's, leave it alone. One of my yeah. exes is actually in my friend request. Uh, he's in purgatory right now. Oh yeah. really? <laughs> You're not getting he's accepted, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's 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 I had a restraining yeah, order right. against that guy. Oh, oh, that's oh. I'm still friends with my two ex fiancés. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. 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 Talk to well, him. you got to keep. You got to have something backup plan. Yeah, because you gave him a ring. They probably uh, didn't yeah. give back. Did you right? ever get them back? <laughs> the rings? The, the last one, yeah, I did. Oh, oh yeah, I sold right. it to the BDM. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. You screwed that guy too, man. You <laughs> got him good. You got yeah. a fucking yeah. really yeah. good deal on a really oh, nice like, gold price are down. Yeah. Down, down. Oh down. man, everybody said all that right. was going to be where we go <laughs> when the race war happens. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. see it. I don't see yeah. it now. Yeah. All gold, even yeah. digital gold. Anyway, how is digital gold? What's the price going down? You're the only person that dabbles in Bitcoin here, right? How how was your week? I don't even look at it. I stopped looking at it. I was like, if you don't look at it, then you won't have to admit. It'll come back up. Right it now. was a mistake with your wife. All right. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what do you, what? It's a straight line, straight down. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It's a straight line, straight down. There's <laughs> no, no, no. You're looking at too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to look at the one day. Picture. That's one day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, uh, great first segment, guys. Uh, I think we did a, lot, <laughs> did a lot of good here. This is great. Uh, so back to uh, you, Seth. Um, so uh, now you're back to work and everything's normal. Uh, like we said, Oh, we heard the BDM. What you were out at some. Well, I mean, <laughs> after what do you COVID. mean? I don't work. <laughs> yeah, after oh, I am after work. COVID, you went to some. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I took karate my, my 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 doctor told me that if I kept the fever for more than f- more than three or four days, to 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 stay away for seven days instead of five. So I stayed away for seven days. On the eighth day, I went back. Yeah, yeah. And Coughing, it, sneezing, <laughs> blowing my nose on the dojo floor. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. No, I wore a mask for the next like week and a half. This is the first week I'm not wearing a mask. All right, good. And you and Just you live. Yeah, uh, you're right. I'm fine. The the two days was pretty I was bad. In bed, scared with 101 fever. Like, please don't go high. Every time I took it, every five minutes, I was taking my temperature. Like, don't go above 101. Don't go above 101. Because if it went up even higher, I'd freak out. Did it at all or no? No, it stayed at 101. And so, how did Tracy handle it? Was she bringing you like? Uh, did she ever get it? She, no, I don't know how the hell she didn't get it, but she didn't get it. Too it young. No sense yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah, immune yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day that I tested, we were, like I said, we we're making out. And nothing. <laughs> There's <laughs> no rhyme or reason to it. When my yeah, husband it got it, yeah. I never got it. Then when I got it, he never got it. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, make yeah. any damn sense. But yeah. I really wish he did get it. Um, okay, that's nice to so say. So it's okay. May. I just wanted to get it over. That's on brand. It's now May 20th as of right now. And uh, how's your boat situation? Uh, oh, yeah. What's going yeah. on with the boat? Why does that matter? I thought you were out of it. It's Memorial Day weekend coming up. Aren't you supposed to be? Out yeah. there with uh, Tracy and her friends. I got another. I I don't have a. I don't my boat personally, but I have my brother has a boat that we might hang out in. Hey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, lots uh, of people have friends with boats. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, but I just uh, didn't raise jump your hand on it if yet. you own a boat. 
No. Right. Okay. No, all right. No, all right. No, we. I feel like there. <laughs> and yours it's back is, running, yeah, baby. Okay, but yours had had some issues that we just. I feel like we we attempted to just gloss right over them. I remember when my wife was on this program <laughs> not even two weeks ago. She started to talk about how Crystal had showed her a gray tarp in your garage that would <laughs> lift it up, and it was seemingly every part of his engine like <laughs> all disassembled. Oh, the lower in unit. tiny little piles of screws and nuts yeah, and bolts, yeah. and they burned it good. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> it was a jet black burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to buy a new one. It yeah. was a stinger. But it's good now? Uh, yeah, it's good yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you using it this weekend? It's got a di- it's a different color lower. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like, it's like when you like get the- a gray door on a red CRX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which uh, <laughs> I was like, well, that's a, you know, a little bobo, yeah, I guess. Spray uh, paint it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, it's fine. It, uh, I'm going to run it this weekend. In the rain. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's supposed to rain. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, anyway. So no boat for you? No party? No, no, yeah, no, I'm waiting to see how all this pl- plays out. Okay, where are we at? Oh, what? <laughs> My brother. Oh, oh, right. I want to have cat. Oh, I want to bring it up. I want to talk about the economy, Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, uh, right. Where are we at? I want to make sure my ca- my liquid's okay. And Where's your your, uh, your scout? It's <laughs> is that a done dream? No, it's not done. It's, Where's it's your still, raptor? It's getting. It's getting. It, my raptor is at, f- at the Ford dealership getting a new lock putting because a lock broke. Okay, Ford. but you. <laughs> I didn't want to get a Ford for that reason. I was nervous about getting a Ford. But. Um, didn't they cut you a deal because yeah. of you were they? Yeah, wanted where's you to my drive Ford? It? Where's my Bronco Ford? You pieces of shit. <laughs> no, but my 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 Scout's still getting worked on. It just got the sp- the liner sprayed in the bed. Um, it's about to get paint in another week or two. Nice, nice light blue paint. Oh, you're great. You got a big truck to pull nothing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's that's nice. you gonna take that? Just saying. Uh, I, was at, I was looking at campers now. To be honest. No, <laughs> oh, you're coming. Oh, that's a good investment. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I look at you and Tracy, I see a woman who wants camping in her life. Yeah, I know. That's right. That's what all. Honestly, young, all the things I put her through. All the twenty somethings, they love <laughs> that get the camp edge, and they just can't get it out of their jeans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They love it. Yeah, yeah, she wants to go to a good yeah, KOA. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Every, <laughs> put a blanket on uh, every young her artist boyfriend. I see. Every young because she's a young artist. I, every uh. young artist I see on TikTok, they're always doing their dances in a campground. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I'm not doing it because I really did think oh, that that might yeah. be too far. Oh, I'm having a mini heart attack. There it goes. Oh, but you're drinking put the, the drink down. I'm almost done with it too. That's how fast I drink them. <laughs> Oh I can drink one energy drink at 15 minutes. It's fast. I drink them fast. Like I drink them like beers. <laughs> well, I substi- can't feel them if I drink it throughout the entire day. It's not enough caffeine. You substitute one poison for another. Yeah, it's, it's called. Uh, there's a term for that. It's like when you just trade addictions. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, I just yeah. traded booze addiction for caffeine addiction. All right, let's take a break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're gonna try it a new. Uh, oh, did you? Uh, I got a couple with... things, but you gotta tell me if I've said it. Oh, before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Doing, like, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, don't call on our guests. Oh my God, why did you do that? That man, you're as good as that. I'm so sorry. This is the Tom Van experience. It's not a good one. Yeah, you just coughed on his crotch. You. <laughs> it's really wet too. They want a refund for their. <laughs> what a donation. refund! We're gonna need to pay them for their medical bills. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot in here. Ew, don't happened? spread around your particles. It's no. hot in here, and there's Jesus. also turd flies flying around. <laughs> Did you take a shit before <laughs> they got here? No, I. But I, I, I <laughs> There's turd the, flies everywhere I, I here. Put all the garbage in our bathroom because no. we had a meeting. Why'd you do that? Why'd you just take it out of the by, And we didn't want him to sit in a pile of trash. Yeah. Oh yeah, the dentist. I need to get his number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't that. sealed we'll the deal. Yeah. 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 Nothing I, is set in stone. I gotta set him the thing. Yeah, we I gotta give him my the, teeth every other day. Though. Stop. <laughs> we gotta give him the three. We gotta give him three prices, and then he picks the one in the middle, which is the highest one, because he tricked him. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. Oh man! Uh, all right, I gotta find where I put all the uh, the songs here. Um, new music from. Uh, this is a place that Seth would never work out. In fact, it's the only gym he does not like. The name of the band is Elephant Gym. <laughs> the name of the song <laughs> is Shadow, featuring Nine uh, M Eighty Eight. I don't know what that. I'm sure the Nine Millimeter Eighty Eight. I don't know something like that. Enjoy this. <laughs> We'll be back with some more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan momentarily. one 844 Show at TomandDan.com for last-minute emails. There it is. That is King Youngblood. The name of the song is Thread. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, Seth is here. Uh, Samantha's here. Um, <laughs> so real quick, uh, we've got 
I know we got this the first weekend in June. Uh, maybe it got booked, but it was open. Which some, one? The June third one? Um, yeah, yeah. That weekend uh, is open at airtnd.com. Yeah. Uh, you like the ding dong? Book Air TV. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Book, God, damn. book. Yeah, book um, Aaron. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. Book <laughs> Aaron Pest Control <laughs> uh, No, book Air TND. Yeah, com. it is still available. Yeah. Yeah, and now if you just search uh, Airbnbs in Sanford, we're one of the top listings because yeah, there's so many people renting it. Yep. Um, so uh, we've got some weekdays available uh, now for one twenty-five a night. Uh, it's all Ooh. up there. So uh, and book now because uh, if it, probably the weekend that you want will be sold out as it gets closer. Well, that Friday, it's uh, it's the third, right? June third. Yep. Yeah. That Friday, I believe there is a girls' night out. <laughs> oh, at the West End, yeah. <laughs> Ding dong, swing along out yeah, there. Yeah. They're oh. doing a male review at the West End. That's hot. And what a perfect time for like some side chicks to just commandeer that thing. And just go down there and live your best life, right? Yeah, yeah. And That's you, what I'm thinking. You were saying you wanted the side chicks to cheat on their yes. husbands with <laughs> the course, yeah. yes. strip male strippers yeah, because at West End. If you could get yourself, I mean, like stereotypes would allow that if you find the horniest Latin stripper, mm. that he's not going to be able to fight it because he's a Latin real man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and you're going to be like, oh, come on. He's like, oh, but I have a family. And he's like, oh, fuck my family. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know he's doing, you're like, good. a French accent. It's a he's like, French yeah. <laughs> Oh, and he's banging you crazy in the air, T&D. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen that video of the uh, male strippers and, like, they're they're at some sort of family, or not family, but at <laughs> some house <laughs> with the, uh, like, a, a bridesmaid and, like, a bridal party or whatever, a bridesmaid, uh, what do they call, uh... The, the bridal party. Yeah. The bachelorette party. Oh, so, sorry. The bride uh, the party. The the You're end. dealing with a no. couple of double men. What's that thing? They do that thing with the thing. <laughs> and there's two yeah, there you uh, go. Uh, Latin strippers. Yes. And then next thing you know, it cuts to night vision. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of them banging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of uh, the bridesmaids yeah. in like a some sort of side room. In a closet. The, yeah. yeah like, the uh, laundry room. Closet. Yeah. It's a closet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, it's out. It's on X videos. Yeah. I. Uh, uh, yeah, I, it, first si- a thousand dollar bounty. If you're a side chick and you're willing to destroy your family uh, <laughs> at our Air T and D the night of June third when they do Girls Night Out, a ding dong swing along, uh, Who, hit I, me up. We need to uh, hear a story about some like uh, bachelorette party that went too far. Sam? Or, uh, well, no, no, not that. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything, but that? So <laughs> anything but no, that. So anything but that. No, I'm saying went too far with the girl, but you know, because that does happen. Where didn't you have one where you invited the girl and then she was a friend of like your she friend? Went to high school with you. Went to high school no, and then I, she came in and she's like pumping some dude. You no, know, and that then, was oh. a, I was 18 and they got me a stripper, but it was like. Uh, one of those weird situations where, like, is this a stripper that works at a strip club or yeah. is this like a prostitute? <laughs> you know, like, I think it was more leaning towards prostitute anyway. Yeah. Um, but I'm talking about like, you know, you're at the male review and then you, you know, the women sometimes get too excited and they grab you ah! and, then, and then the, uh, you know, uh, cool whip comes out and then it's on I the face. I feel like once it happens. I feel like once the cool whip comes out, it's, it's ready whip, right? They're not busting out a. Tupperware of Cool Whip. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You know, this lady know, you know what? This lady knows what her whip. Is. You're, you're, I know the whip. You know your whip. I was, uh, you know what? I was wrong. It is Ready Whip, which is in a can. <laughs> cool Whip's in a tub. Yeah. Tub your versus, dick in a tub? Yeah, yeah, I'm not putting my dick in a tub. I'll put it in a can, though. Or put the can out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swirl it around. Also, we're doing another uh, Tom and Dan beer, and we're doing an Hourglass Brewing, yes. and it's going to be uh, Father's Day weekend, June 18th. Uh, we release the beer at noon. and uh, Release the beer. We're going to have uh, Danger Brain design the can, and we're going to have uh, you know uh, Dad Jokes. It's called Dad Jokes, the beer. And uh, it's going to be uh, our golden ale, I yeah, believe. Yeah, it's a golden ale, very easy drinking, and uh, I'm excited to try it, man. I love yeah, the artwork yeah. that Danger Brain did. They did a great job. So uh, if you want to come out, obviously free, and get there, get in line. The first 100 people are going to get a gift, and, you know, if they purchase the beer, too. Indeed. Um, so I, I decided last night to text uh, Seth. I was like, instead of doing some the night news. Before, the night before, I already <laughs> had the news all planned. I oh, had all the please, news up. really? I did all my work. <laughs> it's, it's in my I notes. thought Chase. She had to pull all your news for you, didn't she? No. She, you don't have her she pulled it? Sometimes, but okay. no. no. All right. I did the, and when I'm on the toilet, I search and find <laughs> oh, That's a good one. Hello. 
So that's a I was like, <laughs> instead of doing news, maybe we should have Seth do something else. Uh, and then like I'll, what? Make myself look like more of an asshole. No, uh, no, that's exactly no, what he wants no, me to do. Listen, on, on there's an element of '90s radio that works, where the these goofus bits and these well, they like, like uh, your tales. People uh, do like your stories. They like a good remember when. Uh, yeah. I and, mean, you peaked with kicking your great grandma's door <laughs> over while she was shitting. <laughs> you're doing a karate yeah, kick. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. And you may have told them all already. Yeah, that's just it. I saved so many in the, over the years. But, you know, because Seth uh, has, there's a lot of haters out there. Uh, they, you know, dislike Seth, his uh, vibe, you know. Some of them, they say they polarizing. hate him, but they're also like, I, I almost feel like it's, it's like a car love, wreck. They yeah, 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 it's yeah. a love hate. And uh, no, it's a love hate. They slip me a little n- note when they say they hate me. But like, oh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to play a part. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you tell yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. Santa, exactly. they, they yeah. hate them. They hate yeah. them. Yeah. 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 She's like, I uh, proof positive, <laughs> definite, <laughs> real, authentic hate. Okay. Anyway, so then I was like, maybe we should have a bit that Seth does where he tells one horrible story that <laughs> okay. he's done. Right. Horrible so job. That, that helps. Today. That helps. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. helps with my cause. Great. So, you okay. know, because like you tell something horrible now. Now, because the, there's also other people that really like you and they like your horrible stories, but they are uh, more like you, horrible people. Ooh, <laughs> I got an idea for the bit. Uh, it's called Good Dumb, Bad Dumb. <laughs> it's all right. No. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you tell a hor- horrible story, and then people are like, oh, I don't know about this guy. And, and then, then give you, us a little something to bring us back. Yeah. And then you tell a positive story about how you've helped uh, some students, the community, Me uh, adopt charity. turtles. You know, because you've done a lot of uh, charity work and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in your life, and that may help Javier with math homework. <laughs> and one then the, day. the people that hate you will be like, "Ah, oh, he's not that bad of a yeah. guy after yeah, all." He, he, helped, are... he helped his assistant Javier with his math <laughs> homework one day. That's he's a nice guy. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it'll <laughs> neutral it out, and then both yeah. like now the people that hated you before will yeah. start to like you, uh, and then the you know, people that he was want... losing me with the jacking off in the back of the <laughs> smoothie company he owned, but he pulled me back in with the amount of animals that he adopted and fostered. Uh, uh, so <laughs> something uh, like that. Now, yeah. you did mention uh, that you've told most of the horrible stories. Uh, I feel like there's a whole category, though. That's Once he starts like, going to therapy, we'll find out right, more. Right, because yeah. I think there's a whole category of stories well, stuff that are that like I just can't too say. hot for <laughs> yeah, yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. We need the too right. hot for TV stuff. <clears throat> there's stuff that uh, I did think about that. I was like, what oh, maybe you? we'll do that, those stories at the live event. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So you can well, only hear well, it. Well, if we're you're not there. recording it. One uh, time. That's what I'm saying. You can only hear it if you're there. One time, great uncle suck my dick. We're like, oh my. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're doing molestation yeah. stories. No, I don't know. No. Yeah, yeah. But that, he hold me down. He put hand on mouth. He said, this is our little secret. Me scared, scared. Because I was like. <laughs> me vow that day to be muscle man and never have yeah. a man take advantage of me ever again. For sure, there's stories about what you and the other Ultimate Fighters did in that house. Oh, that could, if yeah. you were even started to tell them that you it would well, I everything. think I've said the one. We all went to Applebee's. <laughs> we all had on diapers. It's like, all right. No, yeah, no, it ain't get worse than that. Yeah. Like, so, well, so we, we were like, diapers. oh my god. I told you the story about the diaper. We wore diapers out one time. I was <laughs> fucking around, man. That's like that was just a <laughs> rando I'm, I'm fuck around. <laughs> like the uh, you and the old well, man. A couple guys. Yeah, we just wore diapers and we took <laughs> shits in them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just fucking around. <laughs> Who would guess that <laughs> I was on. bored because I fucked around? That's not one of my bad I stories. Threw the that's dice. Just, that's and they're like, funny. show me Hold diapers. Ding. That's not Hold a bad on. story. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you, that that story you told me. I told them all. I have nothing. <laughs> that story didn't even make the list. You went out. Wait, was it? Where'd you go in a diaper? Club, <laughs> <laughs> club diaper. <laughs> Which now we went you, back to the hotel. Our guests look horrified. Were you <laughs> wearing? Yeah. Did you put it on under your clothes? Dep- yes. Okay. So you uh, just depends. to smell like shit just walking around the if, club to see if it would work. Like, so hold on, through. hold on. So you put the pens on, <laughs> then you put your club wear, <laughs> which is what? And you what? grunted uh, it out Z on the Z dance floor. At the time. <laughs> you got Z Cavaricis, a silk shirt. And there wasn't <laughs> shit on the dance. It was pee. But then when I got back to the hotel, I shit in it, <laughs> and then to see if it would help. Me correctly. see if it still holds. <laughs> still holds it. Ha yes. ha. Hold on. So when you went out, did you tell anybody? That you were, I mean, we on? knew we were on it. We were laughing because we knew <laughs> all that matters is that we're happy. <laughs> hey, hey, you still have on diaper? We still have on diaper. <laughs> and then you're pissing in the diaper and the club. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dancing? Dude, dancing? So I don't have to go to the bathroom. He's peeing out. It's great. Did he, <laughs> to be honest. I but mean, isn't it more disgusting? Than I mean, it was a little wet, but it's not anything different than my normal underwear when 
I peed in the club. <laughs> yeah, but unlo- unloading a full piss is a lot but, of but, liquid. But the way the diapers work is it absorbs and it doesn't stay saturated. It absorbs yeah. it. So it's it kind of wicks. It wicks it, it away from your body yeah, but so, it, so babies don't get diaper rash. But you don't that, know how a diaper works? Yeah, no, but it's that same powder that's in the magician funnel when they pour the milk in and turn it upside down, right? Uh-oh. It's like, uh, yeah, you know, it is. It turns like the piss into some gelatin piss, right? Yeah. That's stuck in there and it's gross. Kind of. I mean, I, I didn't feel that. I mean, it's weird. beyond the, there's still a layer of, of like whatever cotton or some sort of like textile there. Okay, so it, the yeah. gelatin piss is behind, like the behind the, the behind a cotton wall. Yeah, okay, there's yeah. a cotton but wall there. The cotton, yeah. cotton, moist. Cotton, but the cotton is moist. Wall. The cotton is moist. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, it's no different than a pe- my underwear being a little wet. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you got to be moist if you're dancing anyway, right? You're gonna little be a little, little sweaty. sweaty yeah. So then, when you got back to the hotel, <laughs> you uh, told this everybody, not enough. Yeah. We need to take it up now. Well, I just was like, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna really see, and I just took a shit standing and walking. <laughs> standing. You, you were walking. I was walking. Yeah, like I wanted what, like to down the hallway to no, and co- just in my room, just walking around my room. We walk back just, and forth, <laughs> shitting in hotel. <laughs> just <laughs> this is how party. You know, like putting stuff away and shitting at the same time. <laughs> putting right? stuff away. Was it solid? <laughs> oh God, was it? Yeah, I mean, kind of minor, like half because it, wet. Because doesn't it push <laughs> the, the log against the back of the diaper and smush? Yeah, it so no, it was smushed. Our I, guests, you had to change our right guests are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> They're packing their I'm stuff. Sorry. I just, uh, you know, I. How w- old were you? This is like what <laughs> last year? <laughs> 20, no, uh, let's see, Kim was twenty-eight, so maybe. Th- 30? Do you have oh to use? Oh my god! Twenty nine, thirty. Do you use Kimbo for every date? That's, that's who. That's how I judge. That's how I judge my part. My <laughs> party, party days, right after. Okay. The, and then, like you know, that's how I judge where I was at in so, life. So what? It wasn't that story you picked. <laughs> <laughs> which is no. All right. No, no, that, was bonus. A, that was a that bonus. That was just a bonus. Aside. <laughs> okay, right. yeah. That was the preface. That was the warm up. All right. So what this was? One the, I feel really bad about. <laughs> oh, oh it's well, I don't know if I want to dip into that. I know. I just, I just feel guilty. But I mean, guys, I was at a low point in my life, kind of. Okay. And I did something that I, it wasn't, re- it is bad. Okay, I'll just tell you. Tell you. <laughs> Me kill a homeless man. <laughs> no, no, no. Me take thumbs into eyes <laughs> no, and no. he scream. He say, he say, please stop. And I say, no, can't stop, won't stop. No, I defend homeless guys. I got in fights in downtown over defending homeless guys. That's part of my. I was good. Uh, this part of your thing. Yeah, <laughs> this is part right. of my five. Uh, that's part of my plan. <laughs> no, I'm Seth Petras Alley, the homeless defender. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, 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 I make I shit in you. diapers, <laughs> but I defend the homeless. And I, that's I, a t- I distribute diapers to homeless. Well, they I know shit in diapers too, so <laughs> yeah. I see why they. We have something in common. It's King good. of the homeless, <laughs> <laughs> Seth Petras uh, <laughs> So I was at. I was at a low point. I'm not gonna say when. I don't know if I want to do this, dude. I don't want to be connected what? to you and your dumb bit. <laughs> this is a Tom bit. No, no, it's fine. I mean, it can't be that bad. Who would tell yeah, something? Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's. I mean, it's, uh, it's bad, uh, but not that bad. I don't uh, think. You guys uh, tell me. I'm gonna have a mini uh, heart attack. Uh, this this is the worst in the diaper, by the way. <laughs> so much so, the diaper wasn't even thought of. Yeah, I know. Right. It's, it's not worse. It's just worse yeah. on a moral level. Uh, the diaper is just disgusting. Right. Uh, on a moral yeah. level. Or moral. Or moral. moral. Like this is morally wrong. The diaper's wrong on a moral level too. All the people around you. There's multiple levels of wrong. Okay. So I'm not gonna say which business it was. If I worked for it, if I owned it, uh, I have a lot. There's lot. There was a lot. No, there was a lot. <laughs> there was a lost and found. Me shit in tropic, <laughs> tropical Elvis. <laughs> no, I didn't. Do <laughs> On National Flip Flop Day, everybody get a jetty punch, and I put a little poop in jetty punch. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a lost and found basket that uh, <laughs> employees like if they leave stuff there and blah 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 and, and people that uh, my artistic up. son lost his inhaler <laughs> me put it in my ass <laughs> me crazy uh, uh, and somebody lost a really nice uh, piece of gold jewelry oh, <laughs> oh no this uh, is low and, yeah. this is low <laughs> And I'm, I'm using. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! God damn it! Yeah, oh, no, that's AC God. On. That's God talking to you. He's no, telling you. I know. You're pushing God the COVID talking. part of it. Yeah. Oh, so that's I, a, that smells like Delta. I, <laughs> what I could have done was message the people that I that I knew, or message the the employees that I might have had, or or my coworkers that I might have had, and say, Hey, there's Dear this, co-worker. there's this nice piece of gold jewelry here that's worth a bit me find oh, donkey again. rope and <laughs> 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 me find rapper it? donkey was rope it a, was it a chain <laughs> or was it a bracelet yeah. rope. Oh, it was a chain no, it was a bra- it was a, oh it was a bracelet it was a bracelet a donkey rope bracelet <laughs> uh, and I left it in the lost and found for like 
12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Hold on. 12 is more than 11 hours. Does that yeah. count when the store is closed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it's right, right. Right. No, well, no one even. It was in there. It's the next, <laughs> it's the next day. No, so, yeah, I mean, hold we're, on. we're open to like eight, nine at night. So, <laughs> so I knew you're not going to say when, but this is obviously. I, 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 I mean, okay, go ahead. It was a long know. time ago when I was in alone. I didn't have a lot of money. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, when you were alone. Uh, no, no, no. I that, don- low. Mm, that donkey yeah. rope be my friend. Yeah, so it was At a low. low. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. pre superstardom. Mm. With the, yeah, okay, yeah. This was pre Kimbo. And uh, possibly. And, uh, and oh, anyway, wow. and anyway, I'm all over the place now. Uh, and I just uh, so I, I, t- I, t- I took it to and got a pond. <laughs> pond it? I pawned it and got cash. <laughs> what'd you get? How much you get for it? It was a few. It was a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> oh my god! And what'd you buy with that? Drugs? I uh, know. I just needed. Steroids? Did anybody so ask I, about it? Yes. No. Nobody asked. Yeah. About it. I'm <laughs> looking for my gold hoops, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> so yeah, I had pretty much just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could have really did my due diligence and find out who who yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then later that day, <laughs> Deion Sanders walks in. And he's looking for his donkey. <laughs> Yo, I got a smoothie here the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, now when you were taking it to the cash for gold, uh, or was it a pawn shop? Mm-hmm. Was uh, it somebody you knew? No. Because you you Italians, you guys know a lot of pawn people. Oh, no, that's their nobody, land, the Italians. And then when you were standing there, and then you present the, you know, you always take it out of your pocket. You're like, hey, I got, the, you know, I would just tell them you a know, story. You know, my dad always told me to put it in Did a little say, envelope. My dad said in order to uh, not look like you stole it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I swear to God, envelope. Dan Dennis, Dan R. Dennis, my dad. When we we wouldn't pawn. Anything really, oh. but we did do the yeah. cash. We did the cash for gold a couple times. Yeah. You know where he had broken earrings or those dolphin earrings. He'd buy my mom notoriously every year. Every Florida <laughs> trash man buys his wife a pair of dolphins kissing earrings from <laughs> J.C. Penney. Every man does it, uh, and they'd break. And then my dad would take him the cash for gold with me. But he's like, "We got to put it in a tiny envelope so they don't think we're a minority." <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't say that part. But he would He would say that he didn't It was a wa- different time yeah, It was a different time yeah, yeah. It was a late 90s Early 2000s yeah. <laughs> So I didn't have a, I literally didn't have a, So I just brought in Some other junk stuff That I had sitting around Like one pair of earrings Like one fake diamond That I thought I, was like, I don't know if this is real This was just laying around my house I, Like uh-huh. I was just saying stuff Like the like. Was so the guy like Where did you get this stuff? <laughs> You know, lost and found. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just said that. Uh, did you think it was a low point? Yeah. Like, uh, did you like never tell anybody about this? Oh, or? I never told him. No. Uh, I just felt dirt. Yeah, yeah, felt yeah, bad. yeah Of course, yeah. I felt bad. Pawning uh, jewelry at yeah, the pawn that, shop for yeah. money. That, uh, who knows? It was sentimental to somebody. I don't know. Now, was this during the arena football days? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't pay that much. Wait a minute. <laughs> you might have been having a full blown <laughs> steroids like fit, yeah, right? Delusion. Steroids. Yeah, you could have had a steroid delusion. Oh yeah, yeah. that's not a thing. You get a ray, you get gold rage. You (laughs) start stealing stealing everybody's gold. Uh, uh, (laughs) All right, so he stole some (laughs) some uh, pawn, some stolen jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Yeah. You know, that's that's, uh, it's dirt bally. It is dirt bally. Now let's hear the uh, the positive story. Yeah, Yeah. bring Uh, us back. uh, You took us low. Now take us back up. Uh, So this was like pretty recent. It was like a few uh, two months ago, two and a half months ago, coming out of my dojo. It's hot as hell outside. It was like well, the first hot day uh, getting back, getting into the spring. I'm in my karate gi, you know, all sweaty and stuff like that. And this little girl is walking around. She's like, hey, can you help me? I'm like, yeah, well, what's up? She's me like, out of diapers. You get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's like, can you please help me change my tire? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I and thought you, know, you said a little girl. Yeah, it's like a, oh, a little. Girl. She's a little old. old it's an adult. It's an adult. adult. Okay, she's just a little. Okay, gotcha. Obviously, couldn't change her own tire because she was. I like, thought oh. I was like, oh god, a small child is coming up to set <laughs> no, in a no, parking no, lot. What's no. happening? Is this trap? No. <laughs> so you know, she she's like, I, I really just don't know what to do. I, I need help, and I'm like, and I'm fucking hungry. I really want to go. And I'm me like, me really you know. need powdered smoothie <laughs> shake. <laughs> <laughs> me need chocolate powder shake. So, so you're dressed in your gi. I'm dressed in okay, my gi, right. uh, black belt and all. Like, oh, this, so you didn't need to say that. Do you walk around outside? I thought you put that on some sort of hook. Yeah, you know? normally I do change, but I walked outside because yeah. I needed to like, bring it home for that day. <laughs> you put in a full suit with a tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't like walk around with your black belt on. Yeah. No, I, my black belt usually stays in the dojo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I or do walking. you do what I do? When I get done doing it, like even here, if I had a collared shirt on, if I get home, as soon as I get in my parking lot, I undo all the buttons and I walk in with my shirt <laughs> open. <laughs> I do. Because uh, I'm like an alcoholic uh, detective. Yeah, like an alcoholic. I do that too, so the, the, the gi ties 
one side to the other side. So when you untie the gi, it just kind of opens up and flaps so it's like an open suit. All right. So I do that usually. So you had an open gi <laughs> in front of a teen. <laughs> yeah. Teen no, she wasn't teen. She was definitely in her twi- like early 20s. Okay. Uh, yeah, you would know. Weird well, irreverence like, at her as a uh, little girl when that's yeah. the that type I of she women was you petite, like. Petite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh okay. I'm a petite. I'm going to mean uh, little. Small. Petite. Uh, petite. Uh, yeah. I could have said little woman. You're a little woman? Okay, well, I don't Hey, little woman. Fuck everything. So this girl yeah. that probably could not change a tire by looking at well, her. Well, she said she judge couldn't, right? She yeah, she said she couldn't. And did you? She's like, I don't know what to do. She has, she has no idea. So I had to like root through her trunk of her car and all this junk that she had back there. A lot of bags of fast food. <laughs> <laughs> was like, you oh, oh, disgusting. Oh, disgusting. I was like, you well, hippo you. mini. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be hippo. <laughs> but as I walked around the corner, <laughs> I still was going to change a tire. This doesn't affect the fact that I was going to change a tire no matter what. What happened? Oh, oh. there's a twist. Wait I didn't expect I thought this was supposed to be good. Why do I feel like it's supposed to be bad? Yeah, it's about to be bad. Me help me, so me shit in her sunroom. You blamored in her face. No, that she had a girlfriend. I hope this is worse than the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh! <laughs> oh, you got her. He's a long haul. Yeah, put your mask on. I'm sorry, guys. She, You're going to want to get tested after this. <laughs> she had a girlfriend. Like, they were lesbians for sure. Oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, me so horny. And, she, <laughs> and, and I really wanted to change because her girlfriend was smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to try and get a threesome with so him? So no, I was tired of you, blah, blah, blah. No, I was, <laughs> I was going to try to get a threesome, but I was like, oh, I'll act like a man and do this in front of you. Like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh, so I, I have a girlfriend. I, I don't think that turns out lesbians. I, don't know. <laughs> I know, but maybe she was bisexual. I don't know. I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume, <laughs> assume that she's my shirt off. She's going to get horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's what she needs to get says, tricked back into so work. Maybe that's what she needs. This is bad. This is bad. The name of the show is too stupid for lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> or worse than gold. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh, I love how simple you are because you did have a good heart, but you're so simple. You saw the hot lesbian, you're like, "Oh, me can't find it." <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure I really did a good job. That's uh, all. <laughs> and you changed. Uh, of course, I did. I, ja- I was like, <laughs> I was jacking it up. I was making sure I was my triceps were flexed. Me whole time. change you. <laughs> Your keys played open. My gi is <laughs> flapping <laughs> open. Yeah. <you know. laughs> Man, that's, that's uh, so, uh, you did it. Yeah, well done. done. Yeah, but yeah, without yeah, me, yeah. without me, what were they gonna do? Yeah, all triple A. I don't know. I think, I think it worked. I think the dudes are good here. I think it worked. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what should we do? Next? <laughs> I, don't know. I thought you had, had no, two no. stories of each: two bad and two good. No. no, no. I mean, I have another yeah. bad. One. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, t- t- four bad. Crazy as it sounds, as crazy as this shit sounds. Another bad story, but then the other good story is another changed tire a week ago for a More person. Hey, you're just changing tires. <laughs> a person, oh, right. a person right. that ran into my curb right in front of my house and I changed their tire. And this wasn't for anybody else. It's a hot gay guy. <laughs> no, it was a old beaten up van that I had to like, I brought up my big jack for it. You're like, ew, you poor. Yeah. I was like, why are you in my neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. You <laughs> are the craziest <laughs> motherfucker in the town. You're the craziest in fucker the in the town. <laughs> you you look outside and you're like, why is this guy here? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, I got to change this tire fast to get him out of here. <laughs> Uh, so no, go, I did not think so that. So let's go back to the other bad stuff. No, we're, no, no, no. It was uh, one and one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm having say fun. We're next time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Sam? What do you think of this bit? Good. Uh, I've got to dig in it. <laughs> I yeah. mean. I've got to dig in it. Let's uh, <laughs> let's do a couple of voicemail and All email. Right. Oh, my God. And then uh, we'll move on. Holy shit. Get some, uh, get some emails, too, because we got some new ones. All right, uh, I got a uh, Heineken Zero burp. That's oh, it's gonna hurt. Uh, this, oh. this. You're mixing that with the Everything. power drink and the Diet Coke. Yeah, too? yeah, yeah. Jesus, I, dude. I'm, uh, I do, a, I do, tw- I do a twelve pack of Diet Coke in the morning, and then right before <laughs> 12, we, 12, right, 12 he's pack. podcasting John Daly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm podcasting John Daly. I'm a little, <laughs> they call me Little Johnny. <laughs> and then I do twelve. I do a twelve pack, and then I do six bags of peanut M and M's. Yeah, <laughs> just like I read that. Yeah, yeah, I, I read that. Like I read that. Six <laughs> bags of pe- six bags. Twenty six. <laughs> the cigarettes was just. <laughs> no, but six bags. Do you know what six bags? They're king size too. Are sharing oh, size, like fi- big, family size. That can't be true, right? That six guy's bags, not d- actually doing six that. Six bags. Yes, like, that's, that's just, like fifteen hundred calories. It's he's just perpetuating the, yeah, uh, he's the urban in. legend, right? Yeah, I yeah. think he's leaning you, in. You, eventually, that's that, going that, a little too far. That's gonna catch up. Oh, it's there. Keep doing it. Uh, anyway. It's already there. Oh, uh, uh, justcallmo.com. Injured on the go. Just call Mo. He's our attorney, the DeWitt Law Firm. 
mm-hmm. um, and handles motorcycle cases, car accidents, uh, stolen any, jewelry, stole, <laughs> any injury. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, give him a call. There you go. Uh, let's try this one and then get an email ready, Sam. Let's try this one. What's going on, dudes? It's Big Rick. Um, sorry if I hiccup a little bit. I'm a little gassy. Uh-huh. So, uh, fuck you. Um, I'm listening to you guys talking about how these big fat chunguses are going through and clogging up the toilet and all this other stuff in the workspace and disrespecting the workspace. And I used to work at a surf shop that might happen to establish itself in Toco Beach originally. And um, when they ha- had their location over in the I Drive area next to Bass Pro Shop, um, I used to go to the restroom and just like a normal human being, I'd have to poop throughout the, the day. And freaking, I couldn't tell you how many times inside of a nice, easy, easy going, like it's not like there's anything special to a restroom, that people would just spray pee all over the damn toilet seat. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, who the fuck does this? He's not wrong. Seth is raising his hand. Well, that was one of my best stories. (laughs) 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 On topic, sir, 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 Professor Dan, Professor Dan, me, me, on topic, on topic. But I've told you guys, that's why I didn't say it. You purposefully pissed on the seat? Uh, And the the toilet paper. (laughs) Uh, Oh, this was back in the day. I do not do that anymore. Hold on. I do not do that anymore. But there was a good couple years, few years, where I did that a lot. I would do it at a, if we were at a (laughs) portalet and it was was Warped Tour, I would piss on the toilet paper. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Be, because I don't want, I'm like, you shouldn't and be poop, shitting there anywhere. Gotta, we're, and girls the are there too. No, let pee. this be a lesson. No girls allowed. <laughs> this and was I more construction. The yeah. There was no girls in construction. Not a lot. Yeah. There's no crying in So the guys would see it and get really pissed though. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with they try to be like, what the fuck? Well, they, look, like Sam, I used to sit in the truck and watch them go in afterwards. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I'm not doing it for the girls. I'm too stupid to think of the girls. I'm doing it for the guys that shit in the port of <laughs> And it was, it was short-sighted, bully. okay? I wasn't thinking it out. Yeah. All right, just something to but think about. But I'm just trying to, you know, I don't want to let him go in alone on everything. Thank if you. I do it as well, I'm going to say I do it. <laughs> but and, not a lot. I don't do it anymore. And if it's chained, <laughs> that's what I would do. It. I mean, it's chained us. <laughs> and I just hose it all down. I'd be like, oh, that's going to have to dry out. You have to dry that out. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, the the public restroom pee-pee on the uh, toilet, it does. I d- I've never done that. Well, if you do, I've clean, never you got to clean it up, at least with toilet well, paper. First of all, Says race, the guy that pisses on the floor at the studio. First of all, race <laughs> that the a puddle. I didn't notice. Just wear diapers. That was you? <laughs> no, no, it happens by accident. I, if it happens by accident, I think if I That knew, means you got to leak Sometimes seal. you don't know. Sometimes it's so... Tiny yeah, little spray. Yeah, leak, no. He left a puddle. He's on got the a floor. leaky seal. Uh-oh. I know how no, he it pees went sideways. No, this, no, it's <laughs> because of your prostate. That means you got a drip from the bottom that's coming out, dripping, and then you got a stream at the top. The stream on the top is hiding uh, the drip on the bottom. No, leaky faucet. Leaky faucet. Yeah, cosset. you got you got to call Emerald Plumbing. You no. got a problem. <laughs> It's fine. And you get a pet scan like me. Um, and I now when I pee, it takes forever, and if I'm not relaxed, it won't come out. I've reached that point like an old man like where I'm sitting there if you guys are talking to me I'm gonna be like you gotta shut the fuck up (laughs) nothing's gonna come out unless everybody shuts the fuck up Uh, next story or uh, email (laughs) I don't have a story Uh, hopefully the raccoons don't eat my flowers Hi, show. No, C- I thought you were just saying that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, my God, we've driven her crazy. <laughs> Hi, show. Single male here. I just Tom and Crystal vanned it. I ordered myself $54 worth of flowers for Mother's Day because of Apple Pay autofill. I live in Florida and my oh, mom no. is in Michigan, so oh. I won't be dropping them off. Upon logging in, it says she can't. the order can't be uh, modified. I'm not creepily going to give them to a neighbor. What should I do with them? A little late for the Mother's Day uh, ah. thing, but... Um, I guess you just keep them. So there's no significant other or like you single know, male. Ah, um, what, thanks who, for listening. So it would be the the problem is when you're a single male. Like I feel like I can get away <laughs> with giving flowers to maybe a <laughs> boss or yeah, like coworkers or like. Sam, if you came I'm, in here and gave me flowers, <laughs> no, I'd be like, "What? No, the that, well, that's what I was going to ask. If he did, oh, let's no. say he yeah. came in no. and and on Certain, your desk depends on the type of flowers. On your desk was like no. a vase, <laughs> and it had like a normal, like let's say it's a, let's go <laughs> no, with a red, <laughs> yellow, orange, almost like a Thanksgiving uh, bouquet. Okay, on uh, a short Fall. one. I feel like if you go bouquet and it's a short bouquet, you're all right. But when you get long tall, stem, long when stem you go stuff. tall, that means sex, and that means your partner. <laughs> but if you go squatty, 
It's that mean, that's okay. That means coworker yeah, or no. old grandma or somebody you it, admire. It would weird Samantha out. Yes, because no it's anime. not your character. Have we all. ever given you a weird gift? Uh, the bachelorette party. Uh. I, did, <laughs> I still distance myself from that. Uh, I still distance myself. Well, from yeah, that. If you, that, that's why, like, uh, Daniel. Have I ever given you a weird gift? No, no, no. Well, you know me. That's the thing. Like, um, you, uh, people hit up Daniel all the time with like personal issues and like. I problems. was a little weirded out when you gave me the old angel trumpet plant. Like, oh, well, you know, I was trying to give away. Technically, stuff, those right? are flowers. Yeah, They're yeah. blooming oh, now, by the way. Wow. Yeah, it was, they they also have cameras in them, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, I've been trimming yeah. them in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Uh, I know. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all, we all need to go charge it like <laughs> yeah. the goddamn yeah. uh, do- uh, ring doorbell at the same in the backyard of the room, right? <laughs> anyway, thought I heard somebody back then. If, if oh. you never do anything nice for anyone, then no one expects anything nice from you ever. <laughs> Yes. Like, write that down. Yeah. That should be in Bartlett's quotes. That's, I love that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. No one expects any also gifts. like you don't do that kind of shit to your own wife. Like, yeah, why yeah. would you bring me flowers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, would yeah, be yeah. weird as hell. Yeah, it's gotten me out of it. Then, then if no one expects it from you, then you're you're out of it. Now, if you if they expect it from you, like you, and you you're given the same credit, it, it's kind of unfair. <laughs> Tom tried to be nice on my birthday when I. I only worked a half day and I went to Magic Kingdom. He's like, uh, use the, the business card, buy yourself a beer. I'm like, they don't sell beer at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but he tried. That's he why did he tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knew. Smarter than you think. <laughs> 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 bastard. Uh, anytime <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, buy yourself, uh, yeah. they got uh, Batman tickets over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Batman tickets. <laughs> <laughs> just whatever. I just try to figure yeah. out what He's they like, don't have. Yeah, Disney, uh, buy like, yourself <laughs> something Spider Man <laughs> on me. He's like, you want <laughs> Ryan Hamilton tickets? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anybody want Ryan Hamilton tickets at me? Uh, oh, yeah, I, still ha- I still have one pair to give away. All you right. should have just put Hamilton tickets tonight. and they right? all sell. <laughs> yeah, just sure write Hamilton tickets and then just give them to him. Just keep, leave the Ryan part off. Yeah. Um, There's something else I was going to tell you guys. Can't remember what it is. Let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one all more. Right. Let's try this one. Good afternoon, Tom and Dan. So I'm at my local, excuse me, I was at my local gym. This is on brand, by the way, of All what right. we're talking about. Like, I had to find this one, but this is exactly what we're talking about. Here in Orlando, and I saw the nastiest fucking thing ever. So I'm in the stall, and a guy comes in next to me, and he plops down his phone right on the fucking floor. Ugh, right in that. between his legs so while he's taking a deuce. Yep. And he's just watching... I don't know, fucking YouTube. Yeah, they use their pop, music. their pop the socket to angle God it up. Damn, man. I've seen that. That's that disgusting. No wonder fucking people are. disgusting. And we wonder That's why yeah, people have shit. every strand of COVID. Yeah, is no just shit. Right. Like, I have seen disgusting. dudes that I'll be in there just doing my thing. I, by the way, I don't need to be. in your underwear. Like, I don't have crotcher. to. <laughs> here's, a, here's something that might surprise you. I don't need to be entertained while I'm pinching one off. In fact, get in and get out. To some of you guys that have just a grape. hold it. What are you doing with their hands? No, if you have a grape, if you have a hemorrhoid or something like that, you're spending too long in the toilet. Yeah. I have had this problem before. Sam is correct. Get in, get out. You don't sit. Especially in public. You don't need to be entertained. You're there to do. How many times have you heard people on the phone? All the time. And just having a full-blown conversation. All the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we That's went through disgusting. this before. I got a little bit of heat for it because I said primarily my larger Latin male oh, yeah, yeah. listeners are the ones that do the, hey, chico, yeah. they're yelling, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, on yeah. the phone while they're shitting it up. Big Spanish dudes love, they love it. talking and shitting. <laughs> and, and if they got a Bluetooth, they're going to go twice as fast. They're like, eh, this fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all uh, some sort of contracting deal. Yeah, that's going working, on there. I mean, they're getting paid, but they're shitting but at the same time. Why aren't you just holding it in your hand? Right. Like, uh, you know, you, because well, well, what you, about when you have to wipe? Up, well, then you put Can it you away. Pull down your your Can you pull down your pants with one hand? Well, if I have a belt, I can't. Me neither. But if I don't have a belt, I can because usually yeah, I have like, like chubbies, stretchy, I can just pull yeah, them yeah. down. Stretchy shorts. Now, do you let your shorts? Oh, this is see, this get open up. Oh, a I don't huge let my of, shorts touch. I roll my shorts up I'm, at the bottom. I knew no, you would. Do, not do you let, let your shorts touch, touch That's the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I bad, used man. to let my shorts touch the bottom until I think it might have been here one day. I oh. went in there to do. You're absorbing and, everything. And old Billy Leaky prostate yeah. had had already pissed up the floor, and I pulled my shorts all the way to the bottom. Then I pulled my shorts back up and like, what? What the fuck is this? And I touched it. 
<laughs> then I touched it and then I smelled it oh, because I'm Matt no, Burton and I'm no, like, disgusting. oh my god, and it smelled like a fucking piss. And I'm like, pretend it's not piss. And I just sat there and edited it until it dried. And now oh, I had to. That, that, yeah, that's how I like Follow him to hell. I got it all over my sneakers. <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah, like, you never mentioned yeah. it to me. It's too awkward. No, I'm not gonna. I'll mention it. Sam like, came right in your yeah, your piss. She did. She came right. She's because like, I splash piss all over my sneakers. Yeah, she's like, somebody pissed on the floor. Big yellow puddle. <laughs> and then I was unacceptable. I was the last one in there, so it was obviously me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, great. Oh, I'm having a mini heart attack. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. Stop. Stop. Drink the water. Yeah, Andrew, you oh have that God. two doctors in one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I put a diaper on there in the break. And then you pissed on your shorts one time. I do that well, all the time. Why are you bringing that back up? It happened one time in eight years. You should have here. pooped on your shoes. No. Have you I pooped don't, on your shoes? No. I don't There's even know. Yeah, we've before. talked about it on the air. Oh, that's right. That's right. You know my new one is I wear the I wear sweat shorts like like Chunkuses do. I bought the chubby sweat shorts. And they are they have wide legs. Like the legs are kind of wide on them. So I'll go pee and I've got the waistband of my shorts under my balls, right? Okay. So I'm peeing and my balls and junk are out, right? Yeah, so my uh -huh. balls are here, junk is here. And I'm peeing. But there, I think there's a, a tube. I think the way I'm wired, my pee tube goes up there. So oh, yeah. it's it's it kind of, it. it's kinking my pee tube. Mm. So then when I'm done, I'm like, it's like, <laughs> it's like two little drips and then I'm like I'm done and then I go and I do waistband over balls yeah, yeah. waistband over ding dong onto waist and then my dick goes <laughs> and has a whole yeah. line of piss yeah. onto my feet yeah, yeah, you own, like, oh, it comes out. It's that wide where it goes past your. <laughs> oh, it shoots straight down wow. my leg holes because they're wide oh, leg holes, loose, and it goes straight. Loose. It's got jinko. Oh, yeah, 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 your jinko. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did no, no, I was uh, no, no, sir. I was wearing jeans. Everything stays in my jeans. Uh, my ankles are pissed crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, let's uh, let's take a break. What, uh, yeah, what we do a lot of damage during the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope no one listens. Me too. Um, let's. This is Star Crawler. All right. That is the name of the band. The name of the song is Roadkill. Uh, yeah, lots of P talk today. This is uh, Starcrawler Roadkill. We'll be right back with more on Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. 1 844 T O M N D A N. Show at tomanddan.com for email. That's Post Animal. The name of the song is No More Sports. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Um, Crazy today. I'm having fun, though. So, uh, Seth farted in the bathroom. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I had gonna, sand in it, and I'm like, God we, damn. Are you, did you poop in there? No, I didn't. I was peeing, and I squeezed a, 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 probably like a four-seconder out. Four seconds. There's like, there's like, right? We can't even have our guest. We can't have our guest use the bathroom now. I have to I tell you. It's not. Come on, it's really that bad. It's bad. He came out coughing. Yeah, I was I know. Who was like, next? You were next. Yeah, my eyes were. You watering. smelled. You yeah. smelled it when you went in, or are you just saying that? No, no, no I smelt it. No. I, I thought what you it smell like. It, I it thought smelled, you pooped in there. Yeah. I was like, how did he poop so fast? It smells fast? like roasted carrots. And I'm like, I well, had that carrots good. Yeah, it's I so, had <laughs> carrots last night. And I've been told that I have Gross. a very distinctive, uh, that's like, uh, uh, that's really I have a big nose. I have people tell me I have a big nose. <laughs> I, don't. I went in there. It smells like carrots. And I look at the floor. There's nothing but piss because of you. No, 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 no. I didn't. I you made guys sure. Don't go in there, Sam. If you guys okay. go three, you need to use the restroom go to public. <laughs> right. What is I... that gray gruel you're drinking? That's a concrete Gru water. <laughs> I like gruel porn. What, what is that? What's gruel porn? Are you know what gruel? G-R-O-O-L? Gruel porn? It's like the the liquid discharge that women get in their vagina. Oh, my God. Like horny. <laughs> I'm the so the sorry, you It's guys. the wetness. I'm it's the wetness. so sorry. <laughs> I know what I These people bid for a You're the one that bring them in here. I feel like we should have tuxedos on. Not enough. When other shows help kids, they're in tuxedos. They're on like a stage. They bring the kid out. They're like, we made him walk again. Like, what do we do with our discharge? Remember? This is gruel. Oh, they <laughs> call it. It's it stands for girl drool. There we go. That's disgusting. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> well, I mean, it can't be that disgusting. No, I mean, they get it. I mean, all girls get it, right? If you're doing it right, they get the gruel. Yeah. Do they? I used to call it whip. I call it whip. 
<laughs> like <laughs> jaw. You know when you get that stuff. Nope. When you, you know it's when not, it's not white though. It's you know when you're playing baseball with your friends and uh, you don't have any Gatorade, and then you're all your friends. You'll come running. Everybody meet at home plate. You all run in. You're like, what are we gonna do now? Let's go play army in the woods. And you look in the corner of the fat kid's mouth, and he's got the white whip. The whip. <laughs> his dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, his he's dehydrated. Dehydrated. Thank you. It's dehydrated. Uh, uh, so, um, do you want to do some dumb amount? We we got a couple. Topics. I do not. All right. So. Uh, no, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three of your <laughs> guests. I'm, I'm done. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, Let's do it. Let's dump them out. I'm having fun. I'm sorry. They don't like the term whip. That's what I call him. I saw it on my wife. I'm like, oh, I'm getting whippy. We got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby. Let's dump them out and play. I want to see your topics. Ooh, I want to also see your bottom mix. Dump, 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 Dump them out brought to you by the Tom and Dan hookups page. It's a place where small businesses, all types of businesses, they can uh, huh? advertise a Tom and Dan hookup. <laughs> where... Tom and Dan hookups. It's a place where small businesses go to thrive. I'm Tom Van, the creator. Local businesses, uh, there's a lot of different hookups on there, and it's all, uh, every single one of them gives a Tom and Dan discount. So you just click on it and see what well, the discount is, and it's all. We got a new one this week, right? Uh, can I get on there? What the you hell? Oh, give us somebody a asked? discount? Yeah, I, okay. I always give to BDMs. Uh, everybody gets discounts. Uh, that come we fucked up. We I give like twenty percent off to everybody. Twenty oh, percent? That's good. Yeah, it's really good. Well, we'll put you on there. Uh, what the you fuck? Know. What do you do? <laughs> what you never what's asked. What's your business? You don't even know <laughs> our business. <laughs> uh, it's a pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anything in Lost and Found, I take only. <laughs> no, so, uh, so it's uh, for uh, karate, of course, uh, or the jungle, which is jiu-jitsu. Okay, I didn't know if you wanted to keep it uh, one both. Of the, both, all right. Wow, yeah, I've seen a lot of BDMs go to your dojo. So mm -hmm. it's uh, the, you always say that our uh, advertising doesn't I work. Have, I think I have four. That's a lot. That's I mean, not how much a are they lot. paying? I mean, they're each paying. What is that? Uh, yeah, that's a thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, the thousands of dollars <laughs> yeah, we're giving is, you. We're litter. We made you. Yeah, yeah that, that money's sure coming from our pockets. They could have found it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, what do we got here? Mexican pizza. It's back, baby. It's back. You like the Mexican pizza? I make my own type of Mexican pizza, but yeah. Oh, what do you mean? I put the gruel down, and I dehydrate it, <laughs> I put oh, that, I then I eat the gluten-free okay. uh, wonton wraps. I use wonton wraps. It's just well, I just use the healthy variety. Everybody stuff. does that. Everybody's I, like, oh, you can't. Flour tortillas. Don't do that. You got to do, you got to get the gluten-free wonton wraps. How do the almond flour tortillas <laughs> taste? <laughs> they taste no, they fucking are really good. Almond flour or tastes, or everything I've... almonds is can suck my dick. <laughs> you write that, put that on a shirt. It tastes really good. I hate or almond Cassava, cassava flour doesn't taste as almondy. So that's you know what a cassava, cassava flour. <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> I think I know. Oh, yeah. uh, has no, to what, do with whip. Uh, <laughs> what, so what is that? Cassava root. It's a uh, yucca root. Oh, yucca. Yucca. Shove it up uh, your ass. How about that? I hate it. I hate all of it. Uh, it's like the yucca. Like my wife's like yucca fries taste just <laughs> so like the, 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 the no, they do not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try these cucumber fries. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Anyway, nobody well, that's wants why that. you look like you do. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. he's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but there's that. There's he's right. A, oh, I enjoy it too. I follow. I mean, maybe deep down I don't, but I do. And on the surface, I enjoy it a lot. I well, you enjoy the the way that it makes you look. Yeah, well, and you enjoy I mean, that guess. it's the optimal fuel to work out as hard as you do, right? Yeah. You could say that. I think I'm addicted to like the discipline of it. Of, of there's no. I, it's better than being addicted to I the, guess, the yeah. actual French fries, like but, I am. Yeah. But is it? Because follow me here. I saw this. There's this new trend on TikTok where it's the, the meat guys. No, no, no. The meat. No, I'm on the Liver the meat. King. He's a no, Liver no, King. No. Out. I'm no. all about Liver no. King. Joe Rogan said that guy's on steroids. He's got to be. He's got to be. Joe Rogan's on steroids. Yeah. What the hell? Well, that's how we do. All these motherfuckers on steroids. Like he's on steroids. Yeah. You're all on steroids. I'm the only one that looks like a fucking. I look like on steroids. I look like fish shit. I look like human fish shit that comes out of a goldfish. But there's the shape of my body. I saw this new TikTok trend where there's like workout guys that are not as like you know crazy. Uh, hey, I'm a chilled out workout. Game. Well, they're just like, yeah, you could have yeah, some white claw right. here and there. You could eat this, or whatever. Like, but the, you know, just as long as you're ninety percent, you can look like me. And he, like, well, and he's not ripped. Most regular, but he's like good. He's like, 
you would call him athletic built. Well, right? like Cody would, Rigsby from not trying well him. Cody Rigsby but from it, Peloton is bigger than you. Like he's a taller dude, yeah. but he's not as defined as you. But he's in awesome shape, right? But he will say on a ride, he'll say things like, "Yeah, I have a piece of cheese pizza." He lives in New York City. And he's like, that's my thing is cheese pizza. I, you too, being Italian, living in New York City, I think oh, it'd be hard for you to yeah, avoid yeah. pizza, right? When I'm and there, he says, I have three pieces a week. But he's like, but the rest of the time, I'm eating extra clean. But he looks amazing, right? Yeah, but he well, still eats his pizza. But I think even him, he's probably above. I'm talking about like a normal dude that's like has some beers every once in a while. Yeah. Like, a, well, like, you do that. You look good. You know, have you know? But well, I could get better. Uh, well, if I, we all <laughs> could get better. But the, to get better, then you you end up like well, I'm no the, alcohol. I'm looking at the outline of his tits right now. <laughs> <laughs> As you say, yeah. I have uh, some man tits. You do not have yeah, man. No, you don't. You, yeah, don't. you, you don't. really don't. Squeeze, I like, do too, though. You don't. You just have large nipples that are grotesque. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But it's they like, are, they're lumpy, man. <laughs> Those bumps around the outside are too big. It's almost like you have 36 nipples. To, to do Dino. what it takes to look like Seth is so above and beyond what a normal person could even do. He's I, drinking concrete. But I, told my <laughs> wife, yeah, I, I, I also yeah, think there's one other thing at play here. To look like Seth, you got to kiss a 20-year-old girl. <laughs> Oh, if like I were kissing twenty-year-olds, uh, yeah, like uh, oh, it's just like the, the lady that not stole uh, the the mermaid's voice, <laughs> Ursula. Yeah, I am like the or I'm like a modern-day podcast Ursula. Oh, I saw on conspiracy talk uh, yeah. that there was like this lady. She was on Ellen. <laughs> Look this up. Like Yuck. she was on Ellen, and Ellen was like grilling her about what kind of um like shit she took what? or or whatever like she did what kind of injections because apparently it's like injections from like a you know, a, a newborn fetus or something. It's some weird thing where, like, cool. like rich women were injecting... Oh, yeah, like blood, right? Like newborn blood into their face, and then it was this whole thing well, we, like... you and I asked Penis that. facial, Sandra Bullock? Is that what you're Maybe. Because it penis was like, facial. It was like this whole thing, uh, and then this guy was like, look, at, during COVID, they couldn't get the uh, the baby blood in their face, so they're all fucking turning into monsters. Oh, gargoyles, <laughs> yeah. That's right wing <laughs> conspiracy like, theory. Yeah, I'm like, that's not real. What is this? I I, we have this. But my she wife was. said that this morning. I told my wife this morning I was having one of my many heart attacks, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm having a heart attack. And she's like, we have Maisie's cord blood. You're fine. <laughs> she said that. Well, oh. why don't you just say oh, You guys have that same. It's anxiety. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think we can use it for ourselves. I think it's to make us live forever is what I'm, that's what I was told. <laughs> I, well, I think we were supposed to start paying for that. It was, they were sponsored. I don't know. Give you I have months. mine in my closet. It's up there in my hat. <laughs> Is that okay? Oh, yeah. It's up there with my dad's cowboy Epidermal hat. Epidermal growth factor facial. That's, that's the Epidermal official name. Epidermal growth factor facial. Uh, but she calls it a penis facial because she says it smells like cum. <laughs> hey what, now. Does, what Does that have anything to do with babies? Uh, um, because I'm telling you, there was this whole conspiracy about babies. And then I think it was like them... Uh, they like eat using the baby bed pizza baby. gate. It was some weird baby uh, face... Thing a baby a face, rich, hold on. They wrote rich a lot use. of good songs, uh, baby face. Um, anyway, back to Mexican pizza. Um, Injecting Korean babies' foreskin into the face? That's it. Oh, that's it. That yeah. was that's it. That's exactly it. <laughs> Wait, the foreskin you. that they get cut off, like from circumstances? Yeah, South yeah. Korean <laughs> baby <laughs> facials, I told you. It was something like that. The person was like, this person does it, this person. It was how like, do we get I to mean, that, South though. Koreans look really young. But how do we get <laughs> to that? The process involves a couple of beauty experts injecting a Korean baby's foreskin into the face <laughs> through microneedling. Well, most well, Korean <laughs> babies' <laughs> penises <laughs> will be microneedles. <laughs> but isn't a foreskin like a solid piece of skin? What do you take a little? You got our guess. Yeah, so that's how I, I know it's good. We won't put you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Uh, so it's something, but then it's like I can understand if it's a foreskin that they throw away. Like right, all right, right. good. But it, like. Th- Ellen was mad about it. That's all I know because she was grilling. Oh, way to put your foot down, Ellen. <laughs> yeah. And the lady was hemming and hawing about where it came from, and and then the guy was like, it's, yeah, "Morbid oh, it's, it's facts." Huh? Harvested and extracted from the stem cells of a Korean newborn. That's what we got. Foreskin. We got that from our own kids, it's dude. Fine. We can yeah, inject yeah. the umbilical dude, cord, right? We can the use, umbilical blood. Oh we yeah, can you guys use, should get tighter faces. No, I think we can use this to make ourselves muscle men like Seth. I think we can cheat the system by pumping ourselves up with our own children's umbilical cord stem cells. 
But now, well, the stem cells are only good. You need the testosterone. The, well, we the get steroids. that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get that That's too. A, you, so follow me with this. We get the ultimate legs. testosterone. Then we work out so hard that we're just destroying our bodies, but we use the stem cells <laughs> to repair them yeah, quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, you could do a lot with stem cells nowadays. And I think if we have our own and your own DNA, like you could really Yeah, so do I should lot. have a kid just to get the umbilical cord. To yeah, yeah, I mean, it would help yeah. you if yeah, you ever got cancer. I'm not kidding. I mean, you can just buy that nowadays. You don't have to have the kid. Yeah, but your no. own kid's one gonna, is better, it's better than the yeah. rest. Yeah, yeah. That's what they told me. <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> what no, if I you guys my, don't have the best genes. No, head. but it's just like adopted kids. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's blank, and yeah. then it somehow has to do with your own That's DNA. I don't know. I'm kidding. Um, anyway. Uh, next. Oh, Rain. Um, <laughs> Rain. So, Ryan, what is it? Oh, people apparently, <laughs> uh, back wit. to the Mexican pizza, just really oh. quick. People are really pissed because it's not the same uh, shell anymore. What's the shell? They've now? used it's like a, shell. a healthier shell. I don't want so a healthier shell. It doesn't shell. taste the same. People are pissed. No, no, no. <laughs> I want a deep Good. fried flour tortilla yeah, shell. It's no longer that. Well, what is it? I don't know. Some healthy gluten free type no, situation. I don't know. It's probably no. just not fried. Like it's not. In the same oil. It's not yeah, so it's not the same texture. It doesn't yeah, have the same taste. Well, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, then you didn't bring it back. Right. Is this Taco Bell you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. You didn't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, it's fucking gross people. You know, I don't it eat looks there. Gross. No, but I don't eat there anymore. I've never even had the, the Mexican well, pizza. It's my, it was my favorite. It was the thing I got. And then they get rid of it. And it's probably a it's good thing, right? It's better. Yeah. Exactly. It's, exactly. So fuck you, Taco Bell. You were my favorite. I even bought your swimsuit. Uh, I have a Taco Bell fire sauce swimsuit. <laughs> that I'm very, I can't fit in it anymore. So um, a lot I do miss eating that food. So you don't do cheat days, days anymore, do you? Not like no. My Especially cheat days, now, my cheat days are like healthy, gluten free. When are you gonna give up and just start eating yeah, anything you want? Yeah. What age? Whenever I pump a baby, I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. Can I watch? <laughs> um. So, Excuse me. How are you guys with rain? Like, um, oh, I'm okay it, with it. Like, <laughs> I vote yes on it. So because I have this thing, <laughs> I'm pro rain. Where I like, I don't carry around an umbrella or any sort of like jacket or anything. I like, literally brought an umbrella today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was a ninety percent chance of rain. My daughter, my wife does it too. Before I left today, my daughter said it's going to rain. And she said, and next year I'm going to need an umbrella on my backpack because I'll be in the portables. And we might have to walk. So mm -hmm. she wants to be prepared like her mom. But I'm with you. I don't carry nothing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and then when it does start raining, uh, I feel embarrassed trying to dodge it in any way. I just walk in it. Yeah, if yeah, I have yeah. a hat on, yeah. I'm like, I'm fine. Well, so I just I walk run. or sit there. I don't like hide from it because I feel I've some... I've seen you fast run to your truck in the rain. Only There's if a TikTok on Only it. if he needs <laughs> his Adderall yeah. and he's carrying paperwork. Well, also, we were doing it. We needed TikTok content. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. That's a highly rated video, by the way. Film yes. me running to my car. Yeah. Yeah. Running. Stiff <laughs> running. That's all oh, I got. One of my favorites. And uh, But anyway, so I encountered some rain at my son's swim class or whatever. Uh, okay. Swimming oh lesson. Everyone out of the pool. You're getting wet. Uh, they No, no. They don't call it until like lightning, lightning. comes. And now yeah. apparently they have a lightning siren. Uh, like, I don't Does remember Does it sound that. like a bomb siren? <laughs> yeah, it's like a really? Oh, shit. Wow. Like a that, tornado. <laughs> that won't be terrifying. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Which I... <laughs> You don't need that. It's just ah! it's Florida. You know what the lightning siren is? The thunder that comes after you. <laughs> yeah. Like it's nature siren. It's God siren. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm I'm sitting there and it starts raining, right? So and then I'm like, all right, it's fine. They have built in covers over like the bleachers uh, next to the the pool, right? Mm -hmm. And again, I told you like uh, some ex uh, basketball player donated this whole four million dollar yeah. yeah. uh, facility. Uh, for the sc the high school he went to. Anyway, so it's nice as hell, right? Imagine what a four million dollars can buy you. Like it's an Olympic sized swimming pool, like a million lanes, oh, like awesome. ten bleachers. dollars a guess. So, so like uh, the lights and everything. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine. We, there's a blue cover over these things. It'd be fine. And then I'm like, God damn, I'm getting wet as hell. Like again, people are starting to run. Like they're they're starting to run for shelter because there's this uh, like you know, it's pouring. Yeah, it is pouring. And then I look up and God damn, sorry, it's been <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's raining in here. Oh, it God, is COVID city in this. Fish. I think we're okay. I'm under a blue tarp right now. Oh, I'm spitting all. Up. I'm getting real wet. Here. I look. The tarp has holes in it. It's not <laughs> waterproof. <laughs> and then I was it's like, just for shade. It's yeah, just for it's sun. the shade tarp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's what thing. my wife said. And then. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. this is just for shade. They it's do that at 7-Elevens, too, where they build, like, a pergola over <laughs> yeah. it. They build, like, a thing, but they... It, a lot you know, of breweries it, have It'll them. literally rain in your eyes, but but, yeah. but it'll shield, but, you know, no but sun. At least it's shady. Yeah, but, but how much more... 
is the waterproof one. Like I it, agree. Can, it was almost there. It just got micro holes in it that lets water through. I was like, well, get the one with the no, with no well, holes. We only had four million. <laughs> <laughs> but it can't be. It's a, literally almost the same shit. Anyway, so I sat there until I, I like it was too much. Like after you sat there until you're tired. Did yeah, you, yeah. Do you wear a suit and tie there so no. people respect you? No, no. But I, I, I come, all because he didn't want people to see him run in the rain. No, I, but I. It's all, I wear the same thing I wear to work because it's so close to after I get off work. So I'm in my polo, whatever. But now you show my, up a little bit late. They see you walk <laughs> up. He's, he's always late because he's drunk. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm say that. soaked. Why not just put the waterproof one on the goddamn uh, they bleacher don't. cover? Put the, just for sun? Hey, at least you got shade. We don't even have shade. We just have bleachers. But no one said like, hey, we just, why not just do the water one too? So it's. Shade and waterproof. Like it, I don't understand. I, anyway. I'd be willing to bet that the waterproof one maybe degrades faster because it's, I don't know. Yeah. There's more of those upkeep because you have to like pressure wash it up top. Like I don't know. <laughs> it's mold. It's, yeah, maybe it gets, maybe because it's not, because it doesn't have holes, it yeah. might keep water and then yeah. it would degrade yeah. faster. So there's got to be a reason. But I don't think, usually when I complain about these things and I try to find out the reason, when someone finally tells me the reason, it's never Well, satisfying. it's like the 7-Eleven on Princeton. <laughs> I don't expect everybody to know, but in Orlando, there's a 7-Eleven on this one road and it's got like one of those like Asian building, like those those pointless Asian buildings that are just for shade. You know the ones yeah, I'm yeah. talking about? They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. They're beautiful, but it's just like, it's all slats. And then I'm like, well, what the hell is this for? A little bit of shade. But if uh, it starts raining, it's literally purposeless. Yeah, yeah, just, it's just, beautiful. It's put just, put it's some it's plywood it's up there. <laughs> Two pieces of plywood. Um, all right. Tom what, Tennant. What is that? It is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen on TikTok. You guys don't, do you, does say, anybody it, know? It Tom, it's, it's a, it was a boy who grew up in England and his name is Tom Tennant. Look up the story of Tom Tennant. Is this going to be a sad no, uh, little kid? No, I think he's alive. <laughs> no. So is this just uh, like a, uh, a lot of TikTok influencers tell you creepy stories about someone, yeah. right? Is that it's this kid. Oh, God damn it. It's this kid. He was born. It's this kid. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I thought he was a muscle man at first. No. He just had a looked, lot of skin. He was just born with- uh, Like a Sharpe. Yeah. He was born like a Sharpe with too much skin. Maybe he should just gain some weight. There he is as a little baby. So how does that happen? Is like the they don't know elasticity of his skin, like is yeah, too every, much. You or? can look. You can because look it up. I'm not going to put it up on we Twitch. We used to be or, giants. And um, that's an old DNA. But they, yeah, but he's fine. So like he's good now. Like he grew he, into his skin. Does he have all that on his? He's all fine boots? now. Like he grew into it, and he's like, it's like I don't think it's like a big deal now. I'm sure it was like literally a hell of trauma and terrible when he was a baby. Well, and where's like the a, now picture? Is a young man. Uh, he's on. They here. Here he was. He'd already grown into it by then. Yeah, but then uh, here he is. There he is now. Yeah, he's just, married now. Yeah, he's like a cool dude now. <laughs> he's, just, he's fine. Like, yeah, a, uh, Tom Tennant, weird. T O M N T E N N E N T. If you want to look it up, but I'm not going to put it on Twitch. But. So he literally was born with too much skin. And yeah, like there, look at his baby it. picture. That's the one that was horrific. So this is the first thing I see on TikTok. It's like, and it's like meme of the day. Tom Tennant, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and like, and that's <laughs> this is this is what TikTok is. They told me the tale of Tom Tennant, who was the kid who was born <laughs> with too much skin, <laughs> and then eventually he grew into it. And now he just looks like anybody that works at True Leaf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like anybody yeah. works at True Leaf. Yeah, he's, he's, a guy yeah, he's like a colonial he's, True yeah, Leaf. He's a good looking, uh, like a cool dude with a joint. He's got the oversized sunglasses. Hey, welcome to True Leaf. I'm Tom Tennant. Has anybody else been born? No, with this? Like, nobody else. <laughs> no one else. Just him? Tom. <laughs> just Tom Tennant. Tom Tennant. Weird. I. So, oh, someone was born like this a long time ago, and they threw him off a cliff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lock him in a cage. They're like, it's a dog boy. Um, <laughs> That's an evil but anyway, boy. yeah, this is what I use TikTok for. I know you do the mounds, and you're doing the dance challenges. No, no. My, I, I, I got into a different algorithm where now it's like... It tells me the sizes of things, the science. Uh, I get you got to get out of that one. You've been in that one for like two weeks. Shaking their ass. That's all I, get <laughs> I, I get Neil deGrasse Tyson telling me about uh, the universe, uh, and then I get dirt bike videos. <laughs> like that's about. I get know. a lot of like ones where it's a um, it's somebody like yelling at me to be different. You know, like trying oh, to motivate. Like I got, <laughs> oh man, I get the and, alcohol one. And then I get a good one that is. Uh, I get a good one that's. A, I thought he was real, but it's a comedian. He's a Middle Eastern comedian. And he's like, 
do not stay at this is the way he sounds i'm not making fun because i think he's doing a put on anyway but he's like do not stay at your job one fuck minute later than <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you that. are not I got that guy you fuck your boss I don't know fuck his guy. ass yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. The Indian if your boss the asks you <laughs> one more minute you tell him fuck your ass i am not your slave you eat my dick <laughs> yeah, and he's like yeah, and he goes oh, and have he, you seen the one where the, the guy yeah. the <laughs> guy gets a um like a spam call and he he actually hacks into their system yeah, yeah, oh, you saw yeah. that one? but i don't I w- believe I that. that you don't i always yeah. think it's fake it's fake i always think it's fake but it, uh, you know the, the, the people like how would you do that now the middle eastern guy i wanted to believe i'm like oh my god i hope this guy's real please be real please be a real motivational speaker and that's just your delivery right. and it's just no he's a comedian and i'm like fuck oh, yeah. but it's a good bit it's yeah. a really good... I'm glad you like that guy, too. He, he motivates me. Yeah. He's like, fuck your boss. He's and the uh, the Indian Big Tim, he right? says, He says... Hey, kiddo. He says, take as much time, vacation time, as fucking possible. Take sick time. All of it. And he's like, all... It's awesome. That guy's the best. It's, it's Maybe weird we can too, interview him. Because you... Uh, they, they, they never can turn it into any sort of, like, real big financial windfall unless, unless they are already doing, like, stand-up and then they can, like, push their audience <laughs> right. to do, go see him. But yeah, I don't de- think he's a massive stand-up, but man, is he yeah. fucking funny. I'd go see him. Like, if he rolled through here and they were like, hey, that motivational speaker guy's coming into town, I'd be like, I'd go see that guy. Like, it, I think it's a super, because he, he films it, Sam, out at, like, in nature. So he's out by, like, a waterfall. It's, like, okay. super inspirational, and, like, the production value is good. Oh, uh, Maybe we can talk to him. Maybe that's what we need to start doing. I I, you know? I just realized something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Well, we're um, almost done, so yeah, please. Real quick. Uh-oh. So, is this where you get serious? No, well, Max lost his first tooth yesterday, mm-hmm. right? Oh, so, Maisie lost two teeth this week, too. Not really. Well, yeah. they got to pull that. That doesn't count. Teeth leaving. Uh, no, no, no. She had oh, two she fall out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but then she also had teeth pulled, yeah. too. Um, Six. So God damn. He, That's a lot. She Does she have any teeth, teeth left? She has extra yeah. teeth. Does tooth fairy come for all, like, six times the amount? No, you get... Well, those that was two. She's going to have to have other ones done, but it was $5 a tooth. Okay. I know, I know. I, I guess apparently I, I'm not paying. We got adjust it for inflation. Now I don't miss. I don't say inflation. They're children. Dog. My fucking no, but, wife does it. She's a fucking cheap ass. You guys know that. She never buys anything. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you know what people are like. Well, oh, I got a dollar for my tooth in the '80s. Well, like well, that was the '80s. Guess what? Gas cost in the '80s. So, like where well, everything's fucking more expensive. I think now. I got five bucks. So yeah, yeah. And nothing has changed. Andrea's cheap. Sorry, guys. I'm, there's nothing I'm, on a tooth that would cr- create it to cost more. There's no inflation on a tooth. It's the same. Now, well, then with the tooth fairy, what the tooth fairy rewards you for. Now, like, it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, a tooth uh, is worth a tooth. It, it is no, there's nothing to compare it to where it would be like gas. You know, you have shipping costs go up. You have... There's not a lot of enough gas to go but around. But the money, so the money's I worth less. I kind of agree with Seth on this. There's no, no reason. Five dollars now is well, worth less than five dollars in the eighty. Money is money. You, yeah. you don't. Your kids don't buy anything. What are they going to yeah, use that money for? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. just give them a goddamn they, dollar. They just lose the damn <laughs> shit. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that. But that's not what I want to okay. talk about. Uh, what I want to talk about is that my wife has done this thing. For the tooth fairy, uh, ever since Tommy lost his first oh, tooth, it's like Elf on a Shelf, where he instead of just giving the money like we all do, mm-hmm. right? She feels compelled uh, for mm-hmm. unknown reasons. I, I believe I know where you're going with I that. I brought this up to you this morning. Yeah. She wants to be queen mom. She feels compelled to do go the extra effort and origami <laughs> the ten dollars mm-hmm. into some sort of <laughs> Asian tooth fairy <laughs> of, yeah. sh- of shape. Uh, that's like she's done butterfly. Uh, she's done like sword in the past. I'm trying to think of other things that a horse. Right, it's like uh, horse. It's- so, so they're either going to think that the Tooth Fairy is Asian <laughs> or works on a cruise ship folding they don't give a damn. Bed. So, no, well, in this time, so Max not only lost his tooth, but also last night, and I think because Tommy wanted uh, money, like, you know, money too. He, he pulled, pulled his own tooth. I, I had that theory oh, in my uh, brain. I go, I, I guarantee can, you Tommy well, didn't want to be left we're out. We're the same. He, we he, can do nothing separate. All of a sudden, I'm brushing my teeth. It's like 930. And, and then and your then, teeth fall out. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then my wife, uh, the boys, both the boys come running in, then Tommy smiles and he looks like he's been fighting Mike Dyson <laughs> with his entire fucking... Oh, he ripped that tooth out yeah, way yeah. too soon. Blood he's crazy. in the garage whacking his teeth with a hammer. And then he's like, I lost my tooth too. He's holding a blood tooth. 
Beetlejuice. And I'm like, wasn't oh even my Beetlejuice. That's your adult I tooth. I love <laughs> too. And then, uh, so yeah. then now they both have, uh, you know, lost a tooth the same day and they were excited because two fairies. So then my wife. I'll wait till Max draws pubes on when Tommy gets his pubes. <laughs> first, <laughs> I, I have pubes too. I only had one ten in my wallet. And then, so then. We, Here, boys. Oh, shit. I didn't, like, I was already taking my back medicine, so I didn't want to drive to. Back medicine. I don't want to drive to 7 Eleven because I was like, ah, oh, shit. I got, I got to go get more money. And then the, the, the ATM only gives you a 20. Yes. So then you got to go break it uh, with the guy, and uh, <laughs> so yeah. The what if you just like get him a little toy or something? No, to put it under. It has to be cash. Cash, yeah. cash. It's cold hard cash. It's always cash. She wants to origami it into something, <laughs> whatever, because that's her oh. thing. So then we have to borrow ten bucks from my mother-in-law down the street. Oh, oh. real tooth fairy's okay. mother-in-law. So so then Crystal's sitting in bed. I'm laying in bed, right, and she's looking at a YouTube video. Origami for twenty dollar <laughs> bills. Now, how does this wing go? Here? And, yeah, and then so now she's like, I got an origami, a uh, dual something that goes together because they both lost their tooth. Oh, like, like a horse fucking a sheep. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> something that yeah. has a theme. Like they go together uh, because they lost their tooth at the same time. So I'm an origami like two Y'all things that nuts. fit yeah, together. This is insanity. Yeah, Y'all, I didn't do it. I'm sleeping. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Why don't you just put your foot down and be like, again. tell it's her not to do it. It's flying everywhere. <laughs> what about, what do I get? I, yeah, I don't, uh, because she's wasting time, she can be rubbing her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not happening. Well, whatever. She can do something. Rubbing something. I'm just sitting there and my dad would just put it in a executive envelope one of those ones that's printed on the inside no. so you can't see that there's a check inside he'd seal it up <laughs> the goddamn tooth fairy game no, you know what she I does? found all my teeth in my parents like little box they had up yeah on i was gonna ask you guys keep your kids teeth. oh uh, my wife does andrea oh. andrea threw out i think the ones that that fell out mm. and then the tall ones that were pulled she hung they're somewhere no right? you know close. what happened so when tommy pulled out his blood tooth he was went rinsing his mouth out with like salt water or whatever and and then Crystal's washing his tooth in the sink, and Gross. it fucking fell down mm. into the sink in their in their bathroom, whatever. Yeah. So then they're like, "Oh no, it fell down!" And then so no the, money. So the boys start getting upset. So then I go in there, and she's like, "It fell down the sink. We gotta we gotta take it apart." Jesus <laughs> fucking then, Christ! And then she's like, "Get the fucking razor blade, and no. cut the caulk." <laughs> No, that's my baby's DNA. So I like I'm like I'm not pulling this fucking sink out. Just rip your own tooth out. <laughs> so I started sink. I started saying like I started coming here. Like, have one of mine. No, yeah. no, no. Some improv of like I know where. Like I'm gonna say I've seen this before. The the tooth fairy knows it's down in the sink. It's and actually then, easier for her to get down. Yeah, there. yeah she will get it and she then can. leave the money in on the, the sink. <laughs> she needs a water source like a roach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll she crawl down in there and get a couple of licks. <laughs> with her antenna eyes. <laughs> uh, genius. <laughs> Key West uh, BTM says just grab one of the old ones from the teeth box. That, well, uh, apparently my the wife said genius. Box. He's got a box of teeth. I just yeah. immediately went to lies and my wife said, like, she's like, hold on, I'll get daddy the, 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 the pliers. The backup tooth. No, 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 the pliers. I'll get daddy's magic wand. So got to keep uh, flying, keep flying. Yeah. Stretch, stretch, yeah. keep flying. Yeah. Make it more grand. left the pliers yeah. there so the tooth fairy. All right, all right, here, yeah. guys. God, I, having children is yeah. exhausting. It's flower. Yeah. Tell them it's pixie dust. Put the Pixie dust <laughs> over there. All da right. Daddy went camping in the woods. <laughs> 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 some, some fucking elaborate lie. Anyway, so I, so then she's oh like, I'll God. get his old teeth because I keep his old teeth in a box. Who? Yeah. Antonio? No. no <laughs> <laughs> <my wife. laughs> One of Antonio's then, so normal. Then she goes and gets, pull out a gold tooth. She goes and gets the old tooth and in, in some sort of satchel of teeth, which is insane too. Jesus it's like, Christ. this is yeah. insanity. Like, yeah. Yeah, like no yeah. one. All mothers keep their their kids' teeth in a small leather pouch, so like a wizard <laughs> keeps. <laughs> Mine was in a know, dime bag. Newts, really? It's a clear, it's a clear <laughs> dime bag. <laughs> my dad smoked too. So. <laughs> How about you keep your teeth in a clear dime bag? My mom would. My mom crocheted a little bag, that, <laughs> no. and it had a crocheted tooth on the outside. Yeah, yeah. I don't think my mom kept my teeth at all. Well, consider yeah. her like not crazy then. Anyway, because I think it's crazy to keep teeth. So then she's and also ponytails with duct tape at the top of them. Sorry if you have one of your kids' ponytails with duct tape on the top of it. You're Who a has now. duct tape at the top to keep it from falling apart? No, you gotta just have a little uh, rubber band. No, it'll oh, still. Yeah. Lose my wife it up. has the hair. Yeah, yeah, she's got uh, the old boyfriend's dress. She still oh has God. it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe in case she ever wants to bring them back to life, you can light a fire and throw them in the fire. So anyway, this is still not my point. Uh, but so then she's origaming this. Uh, she, she decided with t shirt and pants. It's not even a t shirt, it bro. It's a shirt. collared shirt with cuffed uh, <laughs> yeah, sleeves. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's she, extremely impressive. It is I, impressive. I, I will say that. I don't agree with it, but I think it's amazing. <laughs> well, then she's like, take a picture of, the, of me doing this so that oh, if I ever so die. So one day I can tell <laughs> no. them, I lied to you all your life. <laughs> no, no. She, her rationale is take a picture of me doing this so if I ever die, you could show them how much I cared. <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> what? Sick I'm of like, dude, I'm not showing that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm never I know that she I'm, just died, but if, here is proof that she cared. If, here is the origami if, photo. If you die, I'm going to have a, to be awkwardly introducing <laughs> uh, them to the new mom. And the thing, it's going to be some medium. That, that <laughs> Tec- <laughs> Tactical hat said his mom turned his rat tail into a Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Florida that shit. That is the most swamp You know shit. what? I think, you, I think you actually earn a prize for that. That's hilarious. So Can then, he get his fog machine back? So my, This is not even my whole point. So then my wife said... Says she, she's like I heard for I saw this uh, TikTok and in the TikTok it was um, like a story of the of like so the she now sprinkles like awesome shells at the beach for her kids to find because that's what her dad did for her but she never knew that until she thought of it and she was doing it like apparently her dad they go to the beach and their dad would take like a pocket full of nice seashells and then uh, like sprinkle them on the floor and then be like hey look over here find some good shit and then they'd be like oh and then find some like you know the shit Man, you these never kids find are so fucking spoiled <laughs> yeah. when they become adults the real world is gonna yeah. slap them in the no, goddamn face no, no, I'm, she, this is what she's all on tiktok yeah and then, i know and then it reminds she's also making a whole outfit out of cash <laughs> then she her, her whole thing is like then this tiktok influencer realized that her dad the whole time was sprinkling the shells at yeah. the beach and she thought she was like uh, like uh, she realized what her dad had done for her that's what her the entire from, that's childhood. what the lady from full house did for college for her daughters right <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's sprinkling the shells yeah. Yeah. hey i got you in you're on the road Team. Yeah. All right. How about them shells? But I'm like, to me though, I was like, well, she realized it too late. You know, right. like, the, realizing it once you're an adult right. and have your own kids, like it's too late by this. So you get no credit for all the work you did until when you're old. You're dead. And then you're old. You're, old, you're dead. Right. And you passed away. Right. Like, no, I see what you're I want credit now. That's all this is about. <laughs> like who doesn't well, want credit stop lying now? to your kids about fairy tale bullshit and tell them that you gave them the money no, oh, oh, no. my wife's in the way with that uh, uh, I'll tell them in the future I don't think I don't think Maisie work? believes this and I remember you telling me that you thought Max was going to be the first one out it's a hard sell now because I'm like talking to them like the tooth fairy comes and gives you money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I'm looking in their eyes like you believe this thank you and, and, and then when they talk about it they're like uh, they're like oh yeah Max is like yeah they they got a tooth radar that's how they find the tooth i'm like yeah it's like they're convincing <laughs> us <laughs> yeah, that's what Maisie said like i i, I was you like they're trying to keep it alive for you guys macy was downstairs <laughs> eating cocoa puffs or whatever she's eating some cereal or something i come downstairs and i come downstairs i get a diet mountain dew and i sit this is what i do and i go and i sit next to her and i'm sitting next to her i'm like how'd you sleep she's like i slept good you know we're talking a little bit and she's like oh I did the tooth fairy came. Like, it wasn't even a big deal. She's like, oh, the tooth fairy came. Was this a morning meeting at a construction <laughs> site? <laughs> like, are you drinking <laughs> Diamond yeah, Dew? Talking about work? <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, I'm like, what's today? She's like, art. I'm like, all right. You like art? She's like, yeah, what are, what are you doing? She's like, I'm finishing my bunny. I'm like, all right. That's cool. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, ah, we got some comedian calling or something. She's like, ah, all right. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like an adult conversation. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tom yeah. over well, here. Oh, but girls are different. And also, she is a Ooh, New York. No, but she's a New York lonely girl. And I, we have an email about that from an only child. Did you get that email? I did. Yeah, we have a guy. Do you want to? Uh, yeah. Let's do well, one more. Let's yeah, do the email. We'll with that. Yeah, well, because it ties in perfectly. But, like, I think that there is some truth to this only child. Like, she's like a little adult. And she's like a little Andrea. And that's what I got. And My, that's just listen, what I got. I can't really argue with uh, argue with the argument of I want to keep, like, their magic going as long as you can. I love that. Once it's gone, then, love it's that. Like, yeah. then he's like, you're gone it's like so why not let them be kids for as long as they want 100 percent. and then eventually you're going to be an adult and it and sucks. life sucks yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so this says i too am an only child as a matter of fact my mother was an only child i'm an only child and my daughter is also an only child when you really think about it how many people do you know that are only children i honestly never thought about your theory about growing up around mostly adults and in fact and in fact that making an only child more mature but it does make a lot of sense I am very independent, and my daughter is and has been since she was very young. There are other characteristics you mention frequently that I also have. 
I am very routine oriented, which is good and bad, especially with my many vices. I'm an emotional and passionate human. I for sure have OCD. I'm a neat freak and keep everything I consider important in pristine condition. I also really enjoy being alone. I currently live by myself with a pretty awesome situation. I am a single father of a 13-year-old and have her every other week. I have a girlfriend that I see only on weekends because of work schedules and her kid's situation. Though I do run a successful business and I do have a lot of responsibilities, I have a minimum of 10 nights a month completely by myself. It's definitely not the ultimate dream of living under a bridge alone with no obligation, which I completely understand, but it's a fucking start. BDM for five plus years didn't get nothing and don't care. No, hey, thank you, Mr. Only. We got a lot of only children kind of popping up in the chat room. I think there is something to it. I do enjoy being alone. I do, uh, not all the time, but there is a part of me that like if I get home and it's just me there and I'm just like, I just lay on the couch and just listen to the silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's gotta be. There's gotta be How a many difference. only child people have one child? <laughs> they probably gravitate towards that, right? Yeah. That's what they know. I yeah. feel like it's the opposite. I really? feel like they they don't want they want their child to have someone else to grow up with. Because a lot of people that are only children, I find hated it. They wanted siblings. I wanted siblings, and I want. I would have another one now. Yeah, you would. I'm not. But Andrew's really? like that. Yeah, and, and it's you know I'm I'm big on you know I don't really. Get to do much more than, you know, the old penis in the vagina thing. So. My husband uh, thought he was an only child for 33 years. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that, that's all <laughs> yeah. another well, interesting story. Do you know that story? No, I don't know yeah, that story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Siblings yeah. popping up yeah, left and right got, now that he's an adult. Yeah, he's got really? secret no, siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's a thing that is like... More people are going to know that. Yeah, because everyone's be doing like the twenty three and me and all that. And even through like social media and stuff, True. like uh, it's just so easy to find someone. You know, like yep. I remember when it used to be hard to find people, like uh, like impossible. Like it's if not, someone, it's not easy. I, I I went on ancestry on purpose just to find who my real grandfather was and that side of the family. And I messaged every single De Gregorio on Facebook that I could find. Every single one. I messaged this long, I copied and pasted this long story about my dad finding out blah, 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 all this stuff. And then is, does any of this make any sense to you? And I didn't get, I get like maybe five or six responses of like, no. And then a bunch of people just didn't write back. So, you know, I'm still trying to find that side. Why? Well, I'm curious to why. Cause like, I've always thought to myself, if like my mom came to me and like, Hey, remember that you, you, who, the, your dad wasn't your dad. There's a, there was another person out there. That's, that's a biological that's dad. Not, that, that, I'd be you, like, you weird. You wouldn't care though. <laughs> really? <laughs> Only because I wouldn't want the awkward meeting that I see on yeah, TV. Like, oh, you too awkward. Yeah, you do. Family member like, history, I'm especially too, for your son. No, yeah. he would yeah. never talk about it again. He'd be like, thanks, mom. And that would be the end of the conversation. <laughs> too yeah. awkward to meet my I'm dad. Still <laughs> wanna, <laughs> I'm still want to try. I wouldn't want to do it. Then I have to sit there. And, like, and then I see what I'm going to become. And I'm no. like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a... Uh, I'm trying to think. Like I, like I there are. There's only a few things that are too awkward for me. I have a ex girlfriend's dad who still tries to contact me, the one that took her life. Ah, and I think that's why he tries to contact me because it was so traumatic for him. And every time there's a message, will come through. I'll be like, you know what I mean? Like, because I don't want to, you know, just like we're marching on, like marching, marching. Yeah, but he maybe he needs that to kind of march. Well, you know, I need I need a lot of things. I need a twelve inch dick, and I don't have one. Ah. So, uh, anyway, let's get out of here. Yeah, uh, all right. Sam, um, yes. is semantics this week or next week? Uh, it is next week, but this week you can hear a brand new You Heard About This One, which is our uh, free conspiracy theory and just weird st- uh, stories overall. It's on our Patreon, but it's free. Patreon.com slash semantics. Uh, this week is Derek's episode, and he is going to be talking about Rivers Cuomo. All right. Oh. What's the conspiracy with that guy? You might have heard of a little guy named uh, Kurt Cobain that may or may not have passed away. Yeah. Maybe he didn't. Maybe oh. he just changed his persona. Oh, I like oh, those ones. That's oh, a yeah, weird yeah, one. Yeah. All right. There, there's someone on TikTok. You that teased that perfectly, by God, the way. Who, who do you say? Uh, I think it was like Chris Farley turned into someone. Yeah, like, he's Paul for the Wonder Years. <laughs> and he can suck his own dick. Because <laughs> uh, he had two uh, ribs, ribs removed. removed. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, there's the COVID. You probably Sorry. could, right? Because you're flexible enough I've, and I've, large enough. I've tried, I've tried. But you're large enough. You could at least lick Take the hole. Take a rib out. Oh, you can lick your dick you hole. And I can get my feet all the way back. You can oh, lick man. your dick hole. No, I cannot. Because mm. when you go back, for some reason, it pulls it the other way. 
What? If I were when under you, roll you your, when if you... I were under you pushing your ass, but grab forward. it. <laughs> Just grab it. I'll, I'll try You've never thought to grab it. Boy, it, it, I guess look at the light bulb went off. He's like, I know where I'm going when, yeah. I, when the show's done. I'm going to the bathroom here. How can people join your dojo? After that's a good segue. Huh? Yeah, that's an excellent segue. Uh, yeah, just, uh, Do you want to sick suck your own? Dick? Yeah. Uh, KarateOrlando.com. That's the website. Uh, Instagram is Karate of Orlando as well. Shoot me a message. Like I said, I give all dis. I give discounts to all you great fans of the show. Uh, even if you're not, even if you're not fans of me, oh, that sounded uh, <laughs> real genuine. Right? Uh, All you great fans of show, you know, big fans. Um, yeah, All right, that's uh, it. Um, and uh, if you want to check out our beer release, that's June 18th. Um, and bookairtnd.com is where you can find our uh, Airbnb in Sanford. Indeed. And we're um, doing a live podcast at the Hurricane Party. Tom and Dan Wateringholes.com. Check that out uh, if you want to join that. Um, oh, we got a new one coming up. It's going to be um, Copperhead. Copperhead Lodge. Yeah, the Copperhead Lodge is where I went, and uh, it's in uh, beautiful uh, northern Georgia, and it is yeah, it's like Blairsville. Right? Yeah, Blairsville. It's gorgeous, and uh, yeah, medium owned. Medium owned. We'll be adding it very soon. You can uh, rent a place. It's got like a little creek that runs through. It's just yeah. amazing. Just sit in the hot tub, listen to the creek. A lot of Seth, do you have any summer camps that you're running? Uh, unfortunately, I'm the only one work like that can do it full time. So I don't have an. If I had people to help me, I would 100 percent do a summer camp because I'm right. getting that ass like crazy. But what no, about just, Javier? Just the kids. Yeah, he you know, quit. He, he's, no, he didn't quit. He's still he's still there for now. He can't do daytime because he's sad doing. He is. He's doing other Look stuff. Look how sad he Because he helps out a lot. It just what are they dedicated? He's, he's going right? to try to go to school. Yeah. Doesn't he want to be a master one day? I told, told I told him he could have everything I have. Oh, <laughs> here we go. And he goes, I'm going to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to clown him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is Javier <laughs> Dale so, Jr.? <laughs> no, but I have kids classes four times a week, and they're an hour long each. So, I mean, it's a good, you know, it's a good amount of time for a week to have the kids away for summer. Sign up to become a BDM at TomandDan.com, yes. and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.